Well, hi, and thank you for the quack. I have the lights on today. As my depth perception fails me while I try to watch my cat cam in order to try and pet Sieglin. Hmm, depth perception. <laughs> How you doing, Ronan? I'm trying to untangle myself. Sick, unfortunately. Aw. Still sick, huh? That's unfortunate. Again, I do hope you feel better soon. Weapons do I have? I have the black blade. I think I'm. I think I had messed up my stat redistribution before. Which is why I'm not using some of my other weapons. So I did mess around a little bit off stream some things so we're gonna go ahead and switch to the sword of night and flame for the moment as i try to figure out how i'm going to navigate crumbling far missoula hopefully i find some cool stuff around here also not for not for nothing, and more specifically, not not sponsored, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. Dr. Pepper Peeps are amazing. Like, I don't normally like Peeps. Too, too sugary. Way too sugary. But Dr. Pepper Peeps. Are fantastic. There's one problem though. Delicious as they are, they kind of just make me crave um, actual Dr. Pepper. Whoa. That was weird. Burn the Death Blight. Stop spewing death blight everywhere. Really? I tell you to stop spewing death blight everywhere. You finally stop spewing death blight everywhere, and you just come over and kill. It's not what I meant, man. That's rather fascinating. Because I have Dr. Pepper. So I decided to try some Dr. Pepper. After having a Dr. Pepper peep. And it made the Dr. Pepper taste a little less sweet. But like not in a bad way. Again, not sponsored. Just very much enjoying the flavor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me.
<laughs> oh, that was a lot more gas than I was prepared for. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite sodas. If not, just outright favorite. At least when it comes to, like, regular sodas. I don't like the fact that he lived. And I appreciate the fact that he died. How many of you are there? Sounds like there's another one that's actually really close. Or to my right, at the very least. Almost to the fun spot. What do you mean, fun spot? No, no, game. I can tell there's another one. Do you need? Do you want me to manually aim it? I'll manually aim it. I've done this. I played Dark Souls 3. I manually aim my spells all the fucking time. Ah, oh, shit. Now I don't have a damage buff. That's right, you stand up. Bang! Fucking trees, man. A neighborhood friendly mini boss? Oh, I mean, if they're neighborhood friendly, you know. Is that it over there? Because he looks awfully big from this distance. Not him. Though so he's just big for no other reason than being big. Wait, 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 wait. Or is it hew, 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 hew? Look, buddy, I, I see you back there. I get it. You're supposed to be a jump scare or some shit. But I ain't buying it. Some boys are built big. I mean, fair enough. All I can think of is that freaking meme song. You got the big bones, the itty bitty bones. Yeah. Um. Repositioning. They'll never trick you into talking about your extended car warranty. <laughs> it's free real estate. Putting them in more proper spots, like red next to yellow. That's a ladder. Like, hello. Who's up the ladder? Or what's up the ladder, I suppose. Hey, ladder, what's up? No, I'm stopping because... I'm pretty sure... 
that by the by the design or by the by the coloration and texturing, this is supposed to be stone. But with it being all round like this, I it makes it look like it's metal pipes. Hi, Val. How are you doing? Just gonna pop down one of these. These guys are tanky. Especially if I miss half of my arrows because they decide to slam into the floor. Smithing Stony. Um, that one. Bit on the uncomfortable side. Oof. Like, physical pain? Or physical discomfort? By the way, I hope you feel better. Ooh, Somber Smithing Stone 9. I've been needing some more of those. Physically, yeah, I don't want to get into it too much. That is fair. Again, I hope you recover, though. How goes Elden Ring? Well, I'm in Crumbling Farmazula. For the very first time. Like, ever. Pretty much. I mean, aside from actually making it here yesterday's stream. You get the point. Uh, so this is all new territory for me. Like, entirely. I haven't even seen videos on Crumbling Farmazula. But I assume... At least to my understanding, Crumbling Faramazula is like one of the like last endgame places to be. So I'm assuming I am on the approach to end game. Like the or rather end of game. Like getting ready to finally move into like New Game Plus. Definitely a big trip. Man, that's a big boy! He a big, big boy! My goddamn. He's probably got the HP to match, too. Oh. Kind of panic cast of that second one. Oh, first. My heart jumped because I thought that the big one was actually getting up. <laughs> to be enough to handle you. Now, how to go about dealing with you? Probably the same way I've been going about it. Just more panic-induced. Definitely more panic-induced. Holy shit, that's a lot of HP. I'm surprised he didn't turn around after that first barrage. Ooh, he's fast! <laughs> I was not ready for him to Olympic sprint his way over to me. <laughs> God damn. I was like, alright, he'll probably take, like, a good, like, ten seconds to get over to me. They're, they're usually kind of slow, right? And he's just on me in, like, two seconds. <laughs> I am so glad I had all of those uh, ancient death rankers out because I think I think with how fast he was, I don't think I would have had time to actually get another attack in. And you said that's not the mini boss. Looking forward to the mini boss is Jesus. I don't know why I almost didn't see you. I think my brain turned off for half a second because I was still thinking about the other guy. 
place does have uh, quite some terrible things. Well, I mean, again, in pretty much end game area. I'd be surprised if it didn't. I think my main issue is just going to be figuring out how to navigate. Is there like any more ladders? Did I miss something over at the lake? This doesn't seem like an elevator. Nothing down the waterfall. Any more ladders? Okay. It doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. No, wait. Didn't I come down from this side? I did. Okay, I crossed over to here. And now that ladder that goes up there. Without torrent, I definitely wouldn't be able to make a jump across from that to the other one. At least I don't think so? I mean, the fall would definitely kill me. Like a ladder, a door. It's definitely not that way. Unless this is like an illusion? No. Where the hell am I going? I assume this is just a side area, then? So I think there was somewhere else to explore from the other direction. And if I go back up the elevator. I also didn't see if there was anything in the other direction. Alright. This is sketchy. Somebody gonna attack me here? Feels like somebody's gonna attack me here.
Ah, oh, I fucking knew it. Why you? I'm dead. Ah. So if I didn't have enough problems with that thing yesterday. At least it doesn't seem to be covered in ancient dragon lightning this time, though. Considering the dragons are the ones that wield lightning, I haven't actually done a lot of research into it in this one. I don't think dragons are weak to lightning in Elden Ring, but I could be wrong. And the main reason I say that is because I'm pretty sure the two weapons that are supposed to be, like, built for dragon slaying use, like, uh, ice lightning as their uh, as their buffs. It's like clearly frost is one of their weaknesses. If that's going to be the case. Ooh. Almost missed that jump. Where are you at? Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Oh, I missed. I was trying to see if I could get some distance so that I could just bombard him with spells while he's stuck on the island and then it just becomes a ranged battle. I can handle a ranged battle. Well, that wasn't nearly as much damage as I would have liked. Yeah. Alright. Oh, did I get him? See, I'm pretty sure I have both of the dragon we dragon slayer weapons. One of them's and there's the dragon scale blade, which is meant for hunting dragons, and then there's a halberd somewhere. Yeah, there it is, dragon halberd. I think you can actually two hand this. Oh, not quite. It's just... It's just... Oh, I'm like one point short on strength to be able to wield it. Hold on. There we go. Hey! How dare you!
That's what I get for goofing around in crumbling firm, Azula. I wonder what kind of damage it does without upgrades, though. Probably not good. Well, not anywhere good enough to be here. Honestly, if I wasn't dealing with two of them, that actually wasn't that bad. I think I'm short on decks for the katana, though. So the katana has a massive disadvantage of the fact that, unlike other katanas, it doesn't have any bleed. I'm not that short on the decks. Probably just toss on one of these, and bam. Let's see how well you do. Not good! <laughs> I mean, it's kind of my own fault for letting him wake up before I started the attack. Don't mind me, I'm just experimenting, because I do this randomly. Okay, well... Man, that... Not only is that not great damage, but... That does not... That does not have a good reach. Right, I'm sure if I'm, like, already... You know, biting the cankles of the dragons as it is, you know, it's probably fine. But I'm probably also just significantly better off sticking to my sorceries. I was really hoping I'd hit the thing and nail both of them. I really gotta start sending this elevator back up if I'm gonna keep dying like this. And I am going to keep dying like this. I'm sure there's also other directions to go, but... I mean, there's a dragon that needs slaying. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, escape, go to both of your big things. The big thing, yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do is go down to the safety. Allow unjust heroes. You turn it on? Yes. <laughs> now I am safe all the way over here. Oh, you're going to leave. Well, I'd call you a coward, but I basically did the same thing. Hmm. No. Unless defeating him actually, like, creates another path, though. Gotta find a different way. Is 
Is there another way to go? I don't know why I was able to lock onto them and then I just couldn't maintain a lock anymore, but... You know, whatever. Anybody over there? No. What? Right, I forgot to re-equip a weapon. Behave. Fine, I'll shoot that direction. Hit the floor, please. Thank you. There is another one of you. Woo! Alright, I was here. Alright. Gonna just kind of... Gonna just kind of live by the uh, wizard rule of thumb. Trust nothing, explode everything. Oh, that's a skeleton. Well, that's going to be a massive waste of mana if I'm doing that.
This is where I wish spells like Litany of Proper Death didn't suck. Litany of Proper Death is supposed to be great at killing the undead. But it's only really good at using it as a finishing move. At which point, just whack the damn thing with your sword. And just put it out of its misery that way. Like, unless it somehow permanently banned the skeleton from the rest of the game. Ah, damn it. Like, a litany of proper death, like, permanently ended a skeleton so that it would just no longer respawn, like, ever. Like, then I'd be like, okay, sure, fair enough. But it does, like, almost no notable damage. And it's, even in his description, it's meant for finishing off the undead. So either while they're in a downed state, or like at like the last sliver of their health. At which point, again, just fucking hit him with the sword anyways. Like, it's not making that big of a difference. Are you okay? You look like you're exhausted. Also, I feel like more holy damage should just have the ability to put down the undead. Rather than it having to be, like, a whole ordeal where you use, like, Sacred Blade specifically, or some shit. Because... Sacred Blade's cool and all. But I want other things to just be as effective. You motherfucker! Apollo and parkour scare you. Is it that those things scare you separately, or me attempting to do parkour scares you? I feel there's a very important clarification that needs to be made there. So me attempting to do parkour. That is understandable. I am I am not very good at parkour. See, the smart thing would be to go straight for the side of grace. Also, to pay attention to my surroundings. Why do you breathe fire? See, the smart thing would have been to go straight for the side of grace.
I think the main reason I bitch about the, uh... Undead and holy damage stuff... Is because of the fact that I can't just... Instantly put something down with... My usual assortment of abilities and powers. Like, I can throw my cannon of Haima around all day, and these guys will not stay down unless I hit them twice. Which is not a very efficient use of my FP, unfortunately. As much as I wish it was. Thanks for waiting over on the other side of the wall, by the way. I'm pretty sure if you'd come over here, you could have just ended me. Okay, bye. Have a great time. There's a little... Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I can lock on to you from here. What are you gonna do about it? Actually, does Arrow's Reach work on this? I'm gonna try it. It's magic, but it's technically still a bow. It's like a super bow, but... Oh! <laughs> can I lock on? Can I lock on? Please hit. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, you nerd. <laughs> w. Time for more scary Apollo parkour. Apollo doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. Yes, I'm referring to Apollo in the third person. What are you going to do about it? Shut up. <laughs> Man. Scientifically possible. Even... Oh god! Just gonna run, gonna run, gonna run, gonna sip, gonna keep running! Running around the rosy, pocket full of posies. Oh god! He didn't like the song! Where did you go? Hi. Okay, you do that, and I'll do one of these. Okay? Cool. Stay down. Again, me not doing the smart thing. Oh, God! Ooh! Ooh! Why? Why am I an idiot? Oh, come on! Just a small one. Oh, man, I was hoping that was gonna knock him over. <laughs> I don't care if it's a waste of mana to, to do this while, while you're down there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You son of a... I hate you. I hate you so much. You know what? You get the Ancient Death Ranker treatment. I am not risking falling down that hole. Now 
Now he's not my problem. And parkour. And parkour. <laughs> Hi, Kyrie. How goes? Quack. Quack. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like the sound award. <laughs> I just wish I had more sounds. Or more specifically, I wish I had more room for more sounds. Oh, come on. You can't... You're gonna put that... No. Hello, good friendo. I don't know, I feel like a pretty terrible friend sometimes. Zawardo! Why are they all skeletons? I would prefer if they just stay dead. Hi. Triple, does this work well on you? Uh, technically, yes. If I flood the hull with enough damage, they die. I feel like if I keep having th saying things like that, eventually someone's going to decide that they want to have a quote section for my Discord of all the weird random shit that I say. Especially the shit that doesn't make sense. Why is it always you guys? That item's probably not even worth it. Yeah. Oh, hi. I don't know how convenient... Or how, how you managed to conveniently hop up behind me. A golden rune pole. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the risk. Ah! Why? Go from normal freaking beast men of Hermazula to their, all of their skeletons. For some godforsaken reason. This isn't gonna reach before he gets up, is it? Oh, of course not. Why did it go over his hand? What is my aim today? Can't hit anything. I couldn't hit the broad side of a planet with a barn. Cannon uh <laughs> What <laughs> Cannon of too high <laughs> It was too high, Ma went right over his head.
Okay, bye! Is it gonna resurrect somewhere else? Cause, uh... I did not get any runes for that. So there's just a random, uh... Skeleton somewhere else now. I guess that'll be fun to deal with later. Ah, uh, I was about to say, you know, I'm pretty surprised that I didn't get ganked. There it is. There's the gank I was expecting the whole time. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm not good at dealing with multiple enemies. At least not up close. Again, no runes. So once again, it's just my guess that that is going to be a later me problem. Sounds like a problem for future me. No runes? <laughs> Apparently not. God, I don't want to hop down and deal with you. Oh, this is just basically me looping. Hold on. How did I not grab that item before? I'm an idiot. That's how. Heckin... I might be able to get him if I swap this to my other hand. Temporarily. Ah, uh, but now I gotta wait for him to come all the way back here. And there's no guarantee that I'm actually gonna be able to hit him with it. The arc for the attack might go too high. So I don't think I can use the, even if I had it, I don't think I could use the uh, White Shadow's lure to get him closer to the wall. Might be able to use one of these to do so, though. Come on. What if I do a tiny one? Damn it.
fucking man. I don't want to go down there and fight him again. <laughs> If he hadn't immediately realized what I was doing the second I went to go charge up the attack, I might have had him. But since he noticed right as the attack was, or right before I could even start charging the attack, like, it definitely wasn't happening. Can I? No. Rip. And I pick weird times to experiment with whether or not I can make certain jumps. Like, while my, my runes are at risk. Gonna Dark Souls it. Or he's gonna actually turn and jump at me instead of just jumping out the pathway and then I get to run past. I mean, that's fair, I suppose. It's supposed to be an ambush. It just doesn't feel very fair. There we go. I'm just going to grab that item and run away. Oh, that... Hmm. I thought that was a little closer. Should have known better. Warned the more with feel. It's probably not even worth it. I swear to God, it's gonna be like a fucking arteria leaf or something. I guess place your bets on what you think the purple item's gonna be. My bet's either like a, an arteria leaf or a gravel stone. You little. <coughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what I've been wasting my time over trying to get. A fucking gravel stone! Let's go! Don't you love that? Like, oh, rare item! Useless material! Hi. Alright, so that seems to be a pretty decently effective way of dealing with you. Now let's see about any of your friends, because I'm sure you're not alone. 
Oh yeah, you definitely were not alone. You also gonna come this way? No, you're just gonna patrol the other hole. Yeah. Alright. Oh, of course, I time it right as you're turning around. And hey, do you mind if I lead you on a chase of the goose variety? Okay, thanks. Oh boy, there's more. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> oh boy, there's one that dual wields. I've never seen that attack before. That was... I don't know how I feel about it. I didn't know if I needed to dodge, if I needed to block, roll, like, I don't know what was going on there. Oh, hi. That's another one with a shield. Hmm. There's a gold summon sign here. This is a boss room. And if I'm understanding this layout correctly, I think I know which boss room. Oh, uh, well. Uh, it's been nice knowing you, everybody. Come on, Bernal. We have to go die now. I couldn't even make sleep pots if I wanted to. No, there's no way you're just gonna allow me to walk through the room. Come on. There you are. Oga, get in here. Whoa! Ah! Damn it, we were doing well, actually! Like, Bernal kept the... the big guy staggered pretty damn well. Uh, but now I have to run past everybody again. Hi, Halberd guy. Ah, oh, man. That would have been so cool, though. Why'd you have to hit me out of the air like that? I'm not even going to have time to summon Bernal. Aw, oh, you guys suck. Wait, didn't I also go, like, down a floor? I guess that's the upper floor of the area, then. Of the arena. Alright. I guess no 
backstab for me then. <coughs> Grumpled noises. Like, I get it. It's my fault for having no HP. But I don't believe in being forced to invest in a stat. I don't believe in forcing players to invest in specific stats if they don't if the if it's just not part of their build. Like HP is not part of my build. I shouldn't be forced to invest in HP. Oh yeah, the the actual like chest piece with like the cloak. The helmet's nice looking too. I don't remember which ones you have to kill to farm the the chest piece though. It's coming from the left. All that got is attention. Maybe you'll stick around long enough for me to No? I also don't like that none of you are being halted by my cannon of Haima anymore. God damn it, really, that wasn't enough damage? Like, I'm used to cannon of Haima knocking things on their fucking ass, and then I can just blast them again. Apparently I don't have that option here. Maybe I can spam Rancor Call. Won't exactly be the most efficient spell, but... Seems to be pretty decent at bullying them if I do the quick version. Kind of expensive, but honestly worth it. For results like that? I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking argue. Okay, now that I have a potentially more consistent way of dealing with them. Gonna head on down the stairs. There's friend Bernal. Hey Bernal. Sorry I messed that up, Bernal. Let's, uh, let's do a little better this time, hmm? Oga, if you would. Back up. I know one of them is going to spawn again. There he is. Bernal, if you would mind, uh, thank you.
Okay, just need a little bit of damage on the last one, and we're good. There he is. And uh, there he goes! <laughs> Godskin duo, hard my ass. <laughs> Right, I needed to level up strength again so I could wield the uh, Moonlight Greatsword again. The area was was more difficult than the than the Godskin duo. Like I understand that the uh, how they are very intimidating and how they can be a massive pain in the butt. But I had an easier time with them than I did getting to them. Honestly, at this rate, I'm just gonna switch back to Rogier's armor. Get the bonus there. Bonus magic damage. Uh, I don't... I don't think this helps me out. So I'm just gonna slap on the Carrion Filigrid Crest, reduce the, uh... The cost... And I guess, if I, since I have another element at my disposal for it, I'll just throw on the Fire Scorpion Charm for the uh, other attack. At least I think it doesn't affect it. Does it affect it? I mean, it's basically Mini Comet Azure. Which is not affected by it, uh... Because Comet Azur is considered channeled, not charged. I'd probably just be better off with the Alexander's, uh, or Shard of Alexander when I get it. And there's that guy. I don't think I can just sneak past. But I'm gonna try. Just uh, don't break anything on the way through. How do I get down there? Is there another set of stairs? I have realized. Wait. There we go. I had to turn the sound on my phone so that I could get alerts for when dinner is done. Oh, why did you have to start coming this way? Yeah, this is working out much better. Although, it would make you think that if I was going to run around... That if I was going to run around focusing on using melee weapon skills, that I'd actually bother investing in HP. Whoa! 
Well, I wasn't expecting Captain Beyblade. Captain Beyblade, he's our hero. Oh, come on. It's one of the ones with the throwing knives. Game, what are you doing to me? He's probably going to be tanky just like the ones with the axes, too. Oh, ah, my eye. Ah, give me a sec. Eh. No, hold up. Hold up, I almost didn't see that. Really? A dragon tree sentinel? And unlike the other ones, I can't just, like, sneak up behind him and poison him. Ah, oh, Balls. Well, let's see if, uh... Oh, you see me. Well, you're definitely not as tanky as I worried you would be. You definitely have the throwing knife, though. Like, seriously, though, why can't I have these? I want the Beast Man throwing knives. I want to throw those at people. Have them boomerang. What in the hell is that? Too much damage for my shield, apparently. Alright, so one of you has a terrifying ancient dragon lightning curved sword. Man, people in Farm Azula are crazy. Oh, hey! Was I supposed to find this before going into the boss room? I feel like I was probably supposed to find that before going into the boss room. But then I wouldn't have had Bernal. And I gotta, I gotta say, like... Cocky as I was about... The fact that it only took me two tries, because I fucked up and got instantly owned by the, uh, the lanky one. I feel like having Bernal there helped quite a bit, because he was very tanky. Kind of makes me wonder what Bernal's up to now, though. Do you think I might not be able to run across Bernal again, or do you think he, do you think that was his uh that was his final appearance? Ooh. I barely blocked that in time. Oh, ah, uh, there you are. I wonder if I can blow you up through the floor. Just sort of, uh... No? Damn. Yeah, a bit of a high ceiling.
you can see that shape. I could have just taken the stairs down. What a fucking dog. Look, I kind of understand how everything else ended up here. How the fuck did a dog get here? Oh, you're not a normal dog. Why do you have a beast man head? Oh. This is like when they went when you play Bloodborne and there's the fucking uh bird dog things they have like their dogs with bird heads and birds with dog heads. Oh, come on. There's a wide open window. I should clearly be able to blast things through the wi through the window. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay. Okay. Lightning infused boomerangs. I dig it. I want one. Why can't this be a thing that I... Miyazaki, may I please have lightning-infused boomerangs? I would really, really like them. Sincerely, Apollo. P.S. Just to confuse all the uh, faith players, make it scale with int. Thank you. Why you gotta make it sketchy? Why... Why is this here? Who's gonna try to cross this? There's nothing... If There's not even loot. There's no reason for this. Faith mentioned raw. <laughs> you know, like I said, it's just... You know... It... Get me a lightning-infused boomerang. And, uh, make it scale with intelligence instead of faith, just to, uh, confuse people. And there you go. That is, that is, that is on my, uh, wish list from, uh, Miyazaki. The things I want Miyazaki to do in Elden Ring. Fair play to you. I was getting ready to attack that guy. 
And then I got ganked by that guy. I forget sometimes that enemy ganks are a thing, instead of just item ganks. And where the hell am I? Alright. <coughs> the room next to the boss room. Like, I don't dislike faith builds. Like, and especially in Elden Ring, where some of these spells are actually kind of fun. And actually decently strong. But I'm just always gonna be a sorcery guy. Get wrecked, you nerd. <coughs> huh. Pretty sure there's a dog over there. Unless the dogs don't respawn for some reason. Yeah, there he goes. I feel like half of these are going to biff the wall. Ah, oh, more than half. Gonna kinda do one of these. Uh never mind. He died immediately, question mark. Confusion. Anyway, this isn't the way I went. Aha! Probably should have popped down a thing. Never mind, it was more than enough on its own. How are you still alive, though? Uh oh.
You have a boomerang, don't you? Looks like you had a boomerang and a shield. Yep, that looks like that's exactly what he's got. Well, that's bad. Or he can just continue to not notice me. And then he turns around. Alright, that worked out. Of course there's another one. Why wouldn't there be another one? No, all I was trying to do was look around the corner, man. It's a fog door. Where'd he go? Oh, now he's all the way over there. Got him. All right. What lies beyond here? Went to Burger King earlier and got my all-time favorite legendary dessert, the Hershey Pie, for every penny. Nice. Honestly, I haven't had a Hershey Pie in a while. Personal favorite pie, though. Pecan. Or pecan. Pecan. Whatever you want to pronounce it. Delicious. I don't even care what time of year it is. Thanksgiving, Christmas, the middle of fucking July. Good pie. <gasps> Never had pecan pie. This is perfectly acceptable because you're allowed to enjoy what you like. However, ah, uh, let's see. How, what's a good way to describe pecan pie? Because I'm, I'm realizing now with all the different types of pies I've had, like, it's got a very unique texture. Across one. <laughs> like, I guess the main question is, do you like pecans? Just in general? This thing I never had one of those either. Oh. Hmm. Well, I also can't say much about, like, pecans in that regard, because the more I think about it, the more I also realize that it's not just purely, like, a pecan flavor. Like, obviously, it has a lot of pecan flavor. It's a pecan pie, for fuck's sake. But, like, Pecans themselves have, like, a light bitterness to them, as do most legumes. 
nuts and legumes. But, uh, for pecans in particular, or pecan pie, rather, um, they are, they are sweet. Uh, they're kind of like, I can't even say that they're like a pudding because there are more pudding-based pies, kind of like the French silk pie. Um, and they're not quite like that texture. Flavor history is very small. That's okay. Mine, my flavor history was very small when I was... Why well, My flavor history was extremely small when I was young. Oh boy, let me tell you. Um... I used to be one of the pickiest eaters anyone would have ever met in their entire life. And a big part of this came from just how people treated it when I wanted to eat when there were certain foods. Like, not only did I have my uh, my favorite foods that I would uh, prefer eating compared to whatever was on offer, but, like, I, I had an incident where my biological father because he was mad about how picky of an eater I was, decided that his solution was going to be to try to force the food into my mouth so hard that he knocked a few of my teeth out. Craziest thing you tried was deer. That's fair. I think I've tried deer and I've tried alligator, but it's been a very long time since I've done either. Uh, tried either of those. So I don't remember those very well. But um, no, my my diet basically used to consist of uh, chicken nuggets, corn, carrots, and ranch dressing. If it wasn't one of those things, I basically wasn't eating it. Anything else gonna gank me when I go to grab this? Lord's Rune. Man, I don't even like corn. I do! Not as much as I like peas, though. Oh, and when it came to peas, they had to be... Well, that was louder than I thought. No, that's a lot of damage! Yes. Especially to my eardrums. But, uh... Well, hi! A fucking nascent butterfly, are you kidding me? But, um... When it came to peas, I specifically had to have frozen peas. Only frozen. Not cooked. Not steamed. Not oiled. Not mashed. Not in a soup. Frozen. Specifically. This broccoli goes hard, though, especially if cheese is involved. I, believe it or not, I am probably one of the few people that's like, if I'm gonna have broccoli, I would like it by itself. I do not like broccoli with cheese. And that's weird, because I like broccoli, and I like cheese. But I do not like broccoli with cheese. I mean, cheese is... I, I do agree. Cheese is a pretty good fix for a lot of foods. But I would argue that the best fix for most foods is if you take a page out of the uh, book of Czech cooking, garlic and onion. You 
cooking something and it doesn't quite taste right? Garlic and onion. Cheese is so good they pair it with other cheeses, right though? Hmm. Like Colby Jack and Monterey, good combo. Cheeseception. <laughs> hmm. Don't mind me, I'm getting head scratches. Uh huh. As I was talking to Chad, I was telling, don't mind me, I'm getting head scratches. <laughs> yeah, no, I said, uh huh. <laughs> oh, I thought it's. Oh, I, I only heard the second half, I heard the, huh? It sounded like you were asking a question. Well, hi! I didn't see you there. <laughs> About that metal claw thing. Metal claw thing. Met metal metal claw thing. <laughs> The head scr oh the yeah the head scritcher I don't own one of those I'm just Would be they're, nice. they're doing it manually by hand or I guess by fingy. <laughs> Me a metal claw though I actually wonder what claw weapons I have. Uh, I only have a couple of, uh, claw options. Memory serves, this is considered one of the better ones, though. What's the default ability on it? Quick step? Blood of Hound's Step. It's too bad, like, one of these doesn't come with, like, their own version of, like, Blood Hound's Finesse. Then again, that'd probably be, like, that'd probably be really overpowered. Oh, I can use the Magma Whip Candlestick? Arcall, doesn't it spread lava everywhere? <coughs> now I am really tempted to use this. How how heavy am I? <gasps> I'm not heavy at all. Huh? Where's this? Dragon Temple Lift. Well, I would need to get some runes. Oh, wait, anyway, I have runes on hand. What am I talking about? What? It's war sickle time. I love this war sickle. Like, look, look at look at the design on this blade. Look at how elegant this fucking thing is. An extra weight at the other end uh, to balance it. A small addition of 250 weapons. Oh yeah, I, I'd, I'd absolutely hang this on my wall. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Gonna be all right, Hugh, buddy. Hmm. 
Like, you can, you can take a bit of a break, you know, man. It's true. Get man sword. Man very happy. Man simple. Sword cool. Well, I'll be back, man. Don't croak on me. Well, hi, Sieglin. You want something? You don't usually demand my attention so suddenly. Scritches for the bean. Paul's case would be like how they propose. They got me staff. Mm, staff made from thousand year old tree. <laughs> thousand year old tree inlaid with a large crystal at the end. In perfect spherical shiny form. Or, you know, in the shape of a crescent moon. Okay. I have a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Hold on. I've already plus tened the dark moon greatsword. Obviously. Uh, I believe I plus tend. I have not plus 10 to the Sword of Night and Flame. Uh, I did plus 10 the Black Knife. Pretty sure there's a couple other things I plus 10. Probably staves. I plus 10 to my Lusat's Glenstone Staff. Plus 10 to the Dragon Communion Seal and the Golden Order Seal. Do I plus 10... The Loretta's... Uh... Uh, Loretta's War Scythe. Or do I give that to something else? No ring, only staff. It's just more ancient somber stones in one run. Yeah. I'll stay for now. There might be at least another one to have. I don't know. But this is the last one I currently have. Do I use it? Do I use it on Loretta's War Sickle? Or do I use it on the Sword of Night and Flame? Seven, I believe. Hold on. That means I check my equipment. And all the things I have upgraded so far with it. We've got one. Two.
as I check through absolutely everything. Pretty sure nothing under the bows. Three. Four. Five. I know I didn't upgrade any shields. So I've used five, and I have number six. So I've got... I do have two more, so I could actually upgrade them both. There's eight? Oh, sweet. Bam. Now, I will have to two-hand it. Where's Crumbling Faramazola? There it is. Dragon Temple Lift. Honestly, I should really test this thing out on somebody. I'm gonna pick somebody who's kind of by themselves. Aw, oh, man. I think they nerfed the jump. Aw, oh, man. Because, I'll be honest, I really like uh, pole blades like this. I think they're neat. There we go. Got a full connect with both attacks. Spears, pull blades, perfect weapons. Prove me wrong. Uh. Well, technically. I wouldn't say they're perfect because the main issue is once someone gets inside of your range, uh. They're kind of hosed. Now, granted, they have to actually get inside your range, which is the hard part. But, like, for everyone who talks about, well, if they're going to try to get in close, just back up. You can only back up so fast and so far. And not having the stamina to continue the fight is... Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that. Which, don't you love how there's a, uh... Little golden seed tree over here? Because, you know... Golden seeds are still totally viable right now. Why are there so many fucking golden seeds? I cannot use them. Now, Rare Dark, I could definitely use.
Persistent sons of bitches, ain't you? That's when you kick. <laughs> Yeah, and like that's that's the thing it's like you have to start resorting to methods other than the weapon once someone gets inside of uh once someone gets inside of your range they get like too close so it's like they're fantastic if you can keep your opponent at their like at arm's reach like at out like where your weapon is most effective they managed to get closer than that, though. And you're gonna have a bad time. You're a golden one. Not gonna take any chances with you managing to get away alive. Golden Lightning Fortification. Excellent. Ah. Hello, my friend. We've come a long way to be here, haven't we? What's a pinata? You were there, man. I count myself the great Alexander on the arena, which means I could one day be asked to lead. Kindly undertake my ordeal. Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior of the mountain king. What more do you think? I don't know how, how the hell he got there, though. <laughs> He is Warrior Jar Alexander. You are ready then, I take it? Yes. Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior. I am Alexander. Damn. Whoa! What an attack, my man! It's okay, man. You had some pretty sick moves, and I wish I had them. Like, that flaming uppercut was boss as hell. Goodbye, my friend. I 
now with this, all my weapon skills shall be significantly more powerful. A wonderful parting gift from our friend Alexander. I hear something shuffling around. Do you wish to test the might of the shard that Alexander possessed gave to me? Well, he gave me a shard that does more damage, but not a shard that makes me tankier. <laughs> I can never escape platform you. Yo, I like platforming, though. I'm just bad at parkour and Dark Souls. <laughs> Maybe that's one of the other reasons I don't like Sekiro. There's a lot of parkour. Oh, you're not dead. You're not just a corpse. Screw you, I'm not- I'm leaving, bye. Nope. I will deal with that after I have gotten my stuff back. I have the runes gifted to me by the fall of Alexander. I'm not losing those. I'm not losing those without the opportunity to spend them. That would be doing Alexander a great disservice. Now if I have an abil the ability to double back from where I'm going to go fight the dragon as well as uh other things, then I will. But I was originally content to continue pressing forward. No, it does not look like it. It looks like it'll have to be a case of I get over there, grab my stuff, and then I teleport away. Better, maybe I can go back by going this way? That would be nice. Doesn't look like it, though. I'm gonna guess it was the Dragon Temple? No. Tempest facing balcony? Also, no. 
Dragon Temple Transept. Still no. It wasn't just the Dragon Temple lift, was it? No, no, I guess it was. Okay. What to do to kill the sh out of you? Because you can probably absolutely destroy this building to, to my side. I don't think I can get a full Scarlet Rod on you, but I'm gonna try. Wait, is you teleporting away? Does that heal your Scarlet Rot? You're gonna come back, aren't you? No? Just... Just gone? Oh, alright then. Oh, this is just a way back to, yeah. I don't have any hard souls to spend, do I? Definitely not enough that'll gain me a level. I need another, like, 50k. Running past everything as I try to scratch my head at the same time. Okay. Bye guys, bye guys. I didn't make it. I definitely didn't make it. See, this is probably why you don't trust me with parkour. <laughs> I'm like, eh, hey, that jump looks about doable. It wasn't. Stressing me out, man. I'm sorry.
other years of Dark Souls have trained you for this. Oh, they've trained me for the combat, not the parkour. <laughs> Remember, Dark Souls didn't have standard jumping. There was only sprint jumping. So parkour was kind of a thing you avoided. I just gotta try and figure out where the hell I'm trying to go. Ooh. I was about to say, I'm guessing this way, but... Man, was that a close jump. I feel like that's something over there. Let's see. Yeah, those games were so sketchy. I still want to try 3. 3 is honestly... Like, if someone's gonna try and get into a Souls game for the first time, 3 is probably gonna be my recommendation... Wait a minute. I just looped backwards, didn't I? Oh, god damn it. So like, where the hell am I trying to go then? Oh, I needed a... <clears throat> Most people dislike two for some reason. I can tell you exactly why we dislike two. And I do mean we. There's there's a lot of people who dislike two, and for good reason. So, two, I just I describe it as this: it's not a bad game, it's a bad Souls game. And that mostly boils down to the fact that like it was made by a different team than normal, because Miyazaki and his primary team were working on Bloodborne at the time. Uh, it also technically wasn't supposed to exist, because Miyazaki is a one-and-done type of guy. Like, he made one Demon Souls, he made one Dark Souls, and it was supposed to stay one Dark Souls. There's not gonna be an Elden Ring 2. Um, but that, that aside, uh, like... Aside from being made by a different team, um, one of the other big things that Dark Souls 2 made a mistake on, and in a pretty big way, was the way they uh, work, at, uh, work with hitboxes. Because it, uh, someone's done this before. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I don't remember where I saw it or where I found it. Someone has broken into the coding to actually, like, display the hitboxes in Dark Souls 2. And the Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. Now, normally, if you're going to have a hitbox around a character, it's going to be, like, a little bigger than the character. You know, that way the hitbox area is fair. You'd imagine, like, the grid being laid out. I don't know if I can bring a mouse into display or not. No. But, um... You know, it looked... It, in most of the games, it looks pretty reasonable. It looks about the size of the character. Maybe just a little bigger. Imagine a hitbox that makes my character, like, two to three times wider than what they are. And then imagine, in order to have iframes for your dodging, you have to level up a stat called adaptability. So no more just, I roll through the attack and I obviously have iframes. No, the amount of iframes I have and the speed in which I roll and react to literally everything, including input, is determined by the adaptability stat. 
So even something as simple as... I know this may seem like a bit of waste. Doing this. Drinking from a flask is determined by your adaptability. So if you want to actually drink, you know, your Estus at a decent speed, instead of coming to a halt as you... a full halt as you slowly pull it out of your backpack and then take the next calendar year to take a singular fucking sip. You know, you'll have to level up adaptability. Same with same with the other consumable health items because yes, there was more than just the Estus flask in Dark Souls 2. You had other consumable health items. But they also relied on your adaptability to be able to use them at a decent speed. So basically, every single build was forced to level up adaptability if they wanted anything resembling decent reaction speed out of their character. It is, and it's, as I mentioned earlier, it's one of the things I legitimately hate about Dark Souls 2, and things like when people, like, I know a lot of the times they say this as a joke, but things like, oh, Vigor check. This boss is a Vigor check. Like, I hate that shit, because I don't like the idea of being forced to level up stats that aren't relevant to my preferred build. It's like, if I want to level up a powerful mage and make them a glass cannon, I should have every right to do so without being so heavily restricted on how I go about it. Like, well, if I'm going to be a mage, I can't be a glass cannon. I have to have HP because vigor check or some stupid shit like that. I disagree with that type of stuff. Yeah, that's, those are the main problems with Dark Souls 2. Then the, the hollowing system in Dark Souls 2 was also pretty annoying compared to, like, Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 3, like, the hollowing system, you don't, you don't even worry about it. More or less. Um, in Dark Souls 2, every time you die, you start to go hollow... I think I cast... Yeah, I casted way too many. Uh, but you start to go... Uh, you start to go hollow. And going hollow... Fuck. Going hollow, you... Uh, lose a chunk of your maximum HP. And it goes... All the way down until you're... Only at 50% of your normal maximum HP. And the only way to restore this is but to consume a humanity. Essentially the equivalent of either Embers or uh, from Dark Souls 3 or Rune Arcs from Elden Ring. They're kind of hard to come by, but you can consume them. It restores some, of, some, if not all, of your HP on use and reverses certain negative effects. Like in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1, it reverses hollowing. It's like, it's tried too hard to make it how Miyazaki would and failed miserably. They, yeah, pretty much. Um, they didn't understand challenge quite the same way that Miyazaki understood challenge versus difficulty. Um, because another thing that Dark Souls 2 wasn't particularly great at was telegraphed attacks. Because that's, that's a big thing in the Souls series. While some of the attacks at first, when you're fighting a boss, may seem kind of bullshit, if you actually pay attention to them, and I went the wrong fucking way again. If you actually pay attention to them, uh, you end up figuring out that a lot of them are actually telegraphed. They have a stance that they'll take, or a move that they'll do, or even a sound that they'll make before they unleash a particular attack.
And so, uh, when they do this, like those those telegraphed attacks, you start to pick up on that as you play and fight the bosses or enemies on repeat. And you start to learn. You learn those moves, you adapt to those moves, and you learn how to defeat them. And that's really like a huge part of uh, Dark Souls' claim to fame with challenge versus difficulty. Is that all of the fights are technically entirely fair. And usually any losses that you have are the fault of the player not having the skills that they need yet. But once you get those skills, and once you've figured out how to do the fights, you start running into situations where you can walk into a boss fight and basically beat the boss without ever being touched. Like, it's... It's far more plausible to do a no-hit run in Dark Souls than people might think. Simply, ba uh, simply based on if you've memorized all the bosses and their attack patterns, and you know your own moves and move sets well enough, like, you're clearly going to be able to do the fight and not have to worry about it. Seen a few speed runs of it. Yeah, it, and the, the speed runs are fucking wild. <laughs> like, I, I will be absolutely real with you. The speed runs of Dark Souls games are just insane. Because it's like, not only are these people really good at the fights and everything that they need to do, they have ways of avoiding your shit that's just bonkers. But speedrunning requires its own absolutely bonkers skill set. And that's one of the reasons why it's like, I'm probably not going to end up being a speedrunner, because that is not a skill set I think I'm capable of acquiring. And that's okay with me. I'll take my Dark Souls one step at a time. Not like the skipper guys, but like legit fight every boss speedruns to show you how to beat them. Very cool. Oh yeah, those are people who have basically perfected their combat. Damn. What? In the hell are you? That oh hell no! You gonna put a motherfucking crucible knight in front of me? Ah, uh, balls. Balls, 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 balls. No, I don't like crucible knights. They're scary. Oh, I did not top off like I should have. No. Sip. Oh, why? Why you gotta be so damn tanky? I'm running the fuck away. <laughs> I saw that slash come back past the back of my head. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, God! Why do I feel like I have to kill you? Like, killing you is going to turn... is like a requirement for progress. Pass faster, please. Mm. 
Yes! Aha! Bitch! I don't feel confident making that jump. Oh, I don't have to feel confident making that jump. Screw you. <laughs> I don't know what that item is. But I, it's probably not worth the life risking jump. Probably. Maybe. Could be. Plus. Wait, what? I might have to find out later. Birds? Miyazaki, really? You're gonna put the birds here? Man, that bird was tankier than I expected. I figured one of those might have been... Oh, no. Don't know. No. Damn it! Yeah, no, like, Dark Souls 3 is the one that I recommend for people if it's going to be, like, their first Souls game experience. And that comes down to... I'm going to switch to the sword again real quick, just so that I have something that I can counterattack with. Because I can't use the... I can't use the War Sickle one-handed. But, um... Work with me brain. Uh, it's the one I recommend for people starting out because it's easier than most of the other Souls games, which uh, Miyazaki did do on purpose. He he openly admitted to that. Oh come the fuck on! What the hell? Oh, that's the bird body. You couldn't hit the ladder or the, the elevator button on your way down. What do I think of this order? DS3, Bloodborne, DS1? Um. I think the order I would recommend would. That, that wouldn't be a bad order. Um. If you were going to include Dark Souls 2, because again, I I do recommend playing it. It's still a good game. It's just the weakest of the three. Um, and I didn't because I didn't get to talk about some of the advantages that Dark Souls 2 has over the others. Because yes, it actually has some unique advantages. Um, if you like spellcaster builds, especially Dark Souls 2 actually has a fantastic little feature in it where there are actually consumables for restoring your spell uses unlike the other games in the series and uh because instead of using an fp bar that needs replenished you just straight up have a number of spell casts and if you attune a spell more than once uh, it actually increases that number of casts appropriately. Uh, so if there's a spell that you like or you find particularly powerful, stacking that spell is actually not only a viable idea, but it's actually a good idea. You'll get more uses out of it. And when you go to use a item that replenishes your uh, number of casts, it will actually replenish more. 
And so, when done correctly, especially if you go about farming those items, because they can be farmed off of enemies, um, you can actually play as a pure spellcaster with no melee. And it will actually work out fantastically. Not to mention, uh, the, uh, the fact that at least for one of the staffs in particular that you get in the game. Well, fuck you, I was trying to turn my camera to you, but instead of locking onto you, it turned me around! Anyways. Um. Instead of... Let's just call them explanation with lightning and murder birds in the background, right? Uh. But not only can you play as a pure spellcaster and never have to touch a melee weapon in your life in uh in Dark Souls 2 but um like when you farm the enemies for those uh for those items or rather uh like no I know what I was talking about the staff um when you get that staff that I'm referring to I can't remember the name of the guy that you get it from um Or the, the name of the staff. Um, it's actually a viable weapon. On its own. Like, it actually does decent damage. It does decent damage. It's got an okay moveset. So if you're out of spells, you're not completely hosed. You can hit things with your staff and still do adequate damage. None of the other Souls games really have this. Like, they have catalyst weapons... But well, those catalyst weapons are kind of ass. They're not good at doing both. Whereas in Dark Souls 2, one of those staffs is honestly pretty decent at doing both. Like, it does adequate dam uh it does adequate melee damage because of your magic scaling. Despite the fact that it's a uh, a staff and not a magic scaling like weapon weapon and on top of that ah uh, like the move set isn't bad Whereas in Dark Souls 3, if you get something like the Cleric's Candlestick, like, yes, it can cast spells. Yes, it can... Um... Like, not only can it cast spells, but, like, it can be used as a sword. What? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> ventilated. Apparently, I wasn't prepared to just straight up delete him, but deleted. <laughs> Are oh, he finna alive? Oh hell no. He got all the notes down. Are you kidding me? He's a fucking bird. Well, the main reason I'm intimidated to go this way is because I'm worried as fuck that he's just gonna like spawn back in with like a sliver of health and just end me. But, um, going back to Dark Souls 2, 
it's not a great Souls game, but it is still a good game. And it was the first one to introduce us to things like the Twin Blade weapons as well. Like, they tried some things out with Dark Souls 2, and sure, a lot of them didn't pan out. And the game ended up being pretty clunky overall. But it's not a overall bad game. It's just not the experience you necessarily want out of a, out of a Souls game. Definitely not recommended as a first, uh, first Dark Souls experience. Like, if you're wanting to experience a Dark Souls game for the first time, I'd recommend Dark Souls 3. And then, as for moving on into the other series, um, it's hard to, ow, rude. It's hard to say, like, it's hard to say what I would recommend, because part of me, part of me wants to say that I would recommend, uh, just going in the order that I went in, which was, uh, Dark Souls 3, then 2, then 1. Because, admittedly, Dark Souls 1 is hard, and it's slightly clunky. But that that clunkiness more comes from the fact that... Yeah, he's fucking... He's, he's fucking alive. But that clunkiness with Dark Souls 2 comes more... Or, from Dark Souls 1, comes more from the fact that... Um, you don't have special abilities. Like, you don't have weapon skills and weapon arts and things. You just have your light attacks and heavy attacks. It's very bare bones com uh, compared to uh, compared to like the other uh, Souls games. Oh, okay, I'm going a lot higher up than I thought I was going to go. Well, hi! Oh, hell no! Hey, you just uh, chill out there. I'll be, uh, I'll be back later. Makes me curious, though. Is there, uh... Is there any secrets in this, uh... Elevator? No? That's fair. Huh? Oh, hey! That's a neat-looking chest! What you got? Drake Knight set. Nice. Uh, but anyway, going back to my mention of what I think would be a good order, um, it's hard to say because of the fact that, like, Dark Souls 3 is definitely a good starting place. Dark Souls 2 is still a decent starting place, or a decent place to go after that. It's... Determining where to place Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne. Because Bloodborne is unique enough and different enough in terms of its gameplay and combat that it's hard to just... It's hard to justify its placement. Well, I mean, the cape is basically folded in dragon wings. But yeah, no, I I understand, because it's, it's kind of got this, like, weird jitter to it. 
gonna replace this real quick. Don't mind me. Arrows slinged out, or arrows reach. Yeah, I think that aside, if I do it correctly, I can probably just set up the, uh, not only the Loretta's Great Bow, but I can probably, uh, stack up the... Fine, I'll take out the bird. Can't believe how much the bow did to that dragon. Oh! Oh, uh, that honestly shouldn't be that surprising. Not only do I have 70 int, but... Well, I've, I've got a lot going for me in terms of potential for damage. Oh, man. Just fire, just fire, just fire, just fire. I just need to hit it. You son of a... Anyways, uh, but no, trying to place Bloodborne in that list is kind of difficult. Simply based on the fact that, um, that it plays so different. Love the animation for No More Mana, just like, hey, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? Oh yeah. I do wish it was a little easier to cancel out of it sometimes, though, because there's a few times where, like, it feels like it takes so long. Because you'll, like, crank it left and right, like... Like, there are times where, it, like, it will not let you cancel out of the end of that animation, so you literally have to sit there for that entire time. Life at risk before you can actually get around to either drinking your flask or switching to a different spell. But anyhow, um, because the thing about Bloodborne is Bloodborne is much faster paced, and because of the fact that you don't have a shield, like, you kind of you kind of have to be a lot more aggressive. Especially given the rally mechanic that it has. The rally mechanic being... Um... If you get hit... Like... You see my HP bar? Imagine... Somebody hits me for half my HP, right? Well... Instead of just immediately losing half my HP... You'll actually see an orange bar that shows up underneath. If I hit the enemy back, and I hit them quickly and hard enough, I can get that HP back. Because that orange bar will slow, uh, will start draining after, like, a couple seconds after I've taken a hit. Now, obviously, if I get dropped all the way to zero immediately, you know, I am just straight up dead. 
Like, that's, that's the end of that. But with Bloodborne's rally mechanic, it encourages aggressive gameplay. Which is very different from Dark Souls, because Dark Souls is much more about patience and learning. So two very different styles of gameplay. Especially given that in Bloodborne, while you can technically find a couple of shields, they are essentially useless. And you don't find those for a little while. Like, the wooden shield is, uh... It's, it's bad. It's not very good at blocking damage. There's no such thing as 100% damage resistance. There's literally only two shields in the game. The mechanic it wants you to learn is gun parrying. If you time a gun parry with an opponent's attack, you can stagger them, opening them up for a very powerful visceral attack. And visceral attacks are key to doing but tons of damage. And uh, backstabs in Bloodborne are also very different as well. So you know how in Dark Souls you just kind of walk up to somebody, uh, get behind them, and then just hit your light attack button, and you'll get an animation for a backstab. Yeah, Bloodborne doesn't have any of that. So the way it works in Bloodborne is you sneak up behind the enemy, you fully charge a heavy attack, you'll actually get an audio cue right before your heavy attack goes off to let you know that you did, in fact, fully charge it. And when, the, uh, when that attack lands, it will stagger them. And you have them, and they're now opened up for a visceral attack. And then it just gets blown up. I'm sorry, you don't look normal. I am sensing something very abnormal about you. I don't trust it. But anyways, like, I can recommend Bloodborne as a game. Very fun, um, once you get used to how different it is from a normal Souls game. As I will admit, the since I started from... Since I was one of the people who started from Dark Souls and eventually tried out Bloodborne, I can tell you, it's... It will definitely be a... It will be an effort getting used to. Because <laughs> it kicked my ass. It kicked my ass so hard the first time. But once I got used to it, it, it was really fun. It's still one of my favorite Souls games to this day. I, I can't even recall how many times I've told people how many hours I have on just a single character in Bloodborne. Because the transforming weapons, the pace of the combat, the lore... Oh, the lore alone in that game is fantastic. It's very deep lore, very, very fast, very fascinating, and the fact that it's got like the 
Lovecraftian theming to it is just, like, the icing on the cake. It's also why so many people are really hoping that they'll eventually release, like, a remaster or something of Bloodborne. That way we can have, like, the nice HD scaling for the graphics, make it look real nice and pretty. Or, most especially, um, the fact that Bloodborne is sadly capped at 30 frames a second. Like, 30 FPS. Came out on the PS4. Not even 60 FPS. Like, mm, that hurts. <laughs> There we go. Now I can use the Dark Moon Greatsword again. Hmm. But legitimately, like, it is the single reason I have such a difficulty placing it for a recommended list is purely based on how different the gameplay is in terms of, like, pacing and everything. Because I think I technically actually did it in about the order that you were thinking where I went. Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1. Wow, that is a lot of corpses that I'm about to make. Or... Actual corpses? See, now I'm just concerned. Who the fuck... Who the fuck killed all of these? Because I know it wasn't me. Ooh, hi! I knew it! One of you weren't dead. That still begs the question of who the hell killed all the rest of them. Trust nothing. Explode everything. There's no way this is just a clean path. Ah, um, there you are. Bernal, you've betrayed me. Goodbye, Bernal. Thank you for your service. Legendary armaments. Acquired all legendary armaments. Oh, shit. Blasphemous Claw? The fuck is that? The Devourer Scepter. Yeah, that's his weapon. Beast Champion Armor Set. Which I will definitely need to alter because I swear to God, that fucking... Um, I don't know why Bernal doesn't run around with his cape, because that cape is a trip. Where's the beast claw? The fuck even is the beast claw? It's not a talisman. 
Here it is. Deflects the power of the black blade. Oh, uh, excuse me? Excuse me. What do you mean deflects the power of the black blade? A slab of rock engraved with traces of the rune of death can deflect the power of the black blade. On the night of the dire plot, Ronnie rewarded Praetor Reichard with these traces. Should the coming trespass one day transpire, they would serve as a last resort foil, allowing Reichard to challenge Malekith the Black Blade, Black Blade, the Black Beast of Destined Death. Okay, so yo, wait, yo, wait. I can parry the Black Blade. Oh, this is gonna be dope as hell. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I'm probably gonna be really bad at using the Black Blade. Uh, the, the, the Beast Claw to deflect the fucking Black Blade, but... God damn it, I ain't gonna fucking try. <laughs> Hi, boys. Pew. God, that's fucking sick. Like, I didn't know Malekith had an item for his fight. Like, Margaret and fucking... Um... Oh my god, can I... Fire a shot, please. Without it biffing the wall! Fucking... Stand up here. Yeah, screw you! Mage harder, not... I mean, mage smarter, not harder. That's what I meant. It's totally what I meant. Alright, what do we got in here? What was Bernal protecting? Hey, it's the old Lord's Talisman! Not that I really have a use for that right now. It's the one that, uh, boosts the duration of duration based spells. You son of a bitch! I see you over there. I swear to Christ on a goddamn cream cracker. Hey, buddy. Ancient death ranker. Have fun with that. You know, I might use you as an experiment. Well, that kind of depends on how far away uh, Sight of Grace is from where I'm at. Seems like it might be kind of far. I'm coming for you, asshole.
All right, it was across the thing, and then the stairs were over there. Hey, Paolo. Oh. We beat you to the end of Elden Ring. I mean, lots of people have beaten me to the end of Elden Ring. If I'm being completely honest, it's not really that surprising. By using VR chat. I mean, fair, I guess. Let's see, anything I can do to squeeze as much damage out of my weapons as possible. I feel like the only thing that might give more intelligence is the banana crown. And while I don't look forward to wearing the banana crown, no, the banana crown does not provide more, actually. So the Twin Sage helmet for more intelligence to boost my spell damage. I'm gonna try with the Graven Mass Talisman to also boost my uh, spell damage. I'm also going to... Uh, never mind, I don't have the strength for that. I refuse to let the insult of this dragon's continued existence stand. Hey. I technically fucked that up. Hold on. I gotta do a little bit of this first. Give me a sec. It's just gonna be a minute. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Nothing to see here. There we go. Alright. Uh, once again. Assuming I don't biff any of these. Yeah! Alright. Feeling better. Uh, I think... I think best option for Order of Operations might be Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1, then Bloodborne. Mostly because by that point you've gotten through all of the Dark Souls games, you've got plenty of uh, experience with the, uh, the way Souls games tend to be in general. You're kind of, like, used to that whole learning curve that they tend to have. Mm. Plus, when you get into Bloodborne at that point, since you're so used to playing the slower Souls games, you know, it's gonna feel like it, uh, like, it's gonna feel nice and quick and snappy. Meow. Yeah. I never did get a message that if dinner was done. Probably ask. Okay, thank you. Yeah, my phone did not go off if... If they did. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do about 
that guy. Because I'll be honest, I didn't ha I didn't fare so well fighting against him the first time. And I really don't think the game's just gonna let me sneak around past him and poison him and then just sit there until he dies from poison. I might try it though. No, I. Mm. This is probably my only real option. Ooh. I did not see that fireball coming. Can I, like, distract him or something? Sort of like... How much of a sneaky bean can I be? Do like a little bit of uh, shadow bait, an assassin's approach. Might even try darkness and uh, poison mist, obviously. I'll sort of change some of this up. There's the, uh... There's the black knife set. There it is. So if I recall, and I could be wrong about this, if I recall, forged to make, yeah, forged to make no sound, which muffles the sound of footsteps. So this is me trying to be sneak maximum. Keyword trying. <laughs> And the only other things I can do to assist me with this is to consume less HP. And where is it? Where's the old Lord's Talisman? There it is. Expel extend spell effect duration. Oh, I forgot to put hidden body. Sneak 100, let's go! <laughs> yeah! Fuck you! <laughs> uh. 
I don't know if he's actually in range. Gonna sneak a little closer and try that again. Pretty sure he's in range. This is going to take a while though, so uh, if anyone wants to grab a snack, use the restroom, get a drink, whatever you guys need to do to take care of yourselves, now would be a good time. And now begins the waiting, followed by a light salad. Followed by a pizza, more like. Oh, sh hell yeah! Oh man, that is a thick pizza. I might need a fork for some of the stuff because it's falling off. <laughs> Holy shit! Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna dra I'm gonna show this off on the side here. This is several slices, kind of arranged on the pizza. Like, look at how thick. This pizza is. This is handmade by my brother in law. This all big. Big pizza. If I had a scale, I would put this on the scale to see how much pizza this is. This is like poundage of pizza. Fantastic. I am so looking forward to this. So, did it like just finish? Maybe they went to the bathroom. Yeah, did, did they, like, just finish it? Uh, it's yeah. still hot. Yeah. It's, okay. It's yeah. Fresh, right? I, yeah. I was just showing everybody on stream, too, like, how the fucking thick this is. Like, again, this is literally pounds of pizza. Like, what do I even compare this to in terms of weight? Uh, it weighs a lot. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Just boom. Boom. Pizza. Big pizza. Oh my god. Look at how long this is going to take. He's already done with the first batch of poison. Now I have to reapply it. Like I said, guys, this is going to take a while. But this is like the only reliable way... For me to just fucking kill him. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bought me a little while I wait for my pizza to cool down to a point that I can eat it. Uh, I got a little, got a little fruit bar. A little, a little piece of fruit jerky. Ooh, smells good. It's made with, uh, pineapple. Good heavens. That is some potent pineapple. My stomach will probably hate me later for it. Because of the acidity in pineapple. But I love this. Not really different in terms of texture from normal, um, fruit jerkies, though. Like, the texture of the pulp is very evident. Why do I feel like this round of poison is doing more damage than the last round? At least he's still pretty easily poisonable. Like, I've only been needing one cloud. Still, though. 
I was honestly surprised I was able to sneak past him. Like, that was super funny. Oh, man. And I can already see on my pizza. So, if anyone's wondering what's on my pizza, and even if you're not, I'm going to tell you anyways, because I'm excited. They put mozzarella cheese on, like, the main body of the pizza, right? They also put... Uh, they also made a sauce using uh, shallots, which is really cool to me because the first time we got shallots, we realized that it smelled like one of our favorite pizza places, and they're the pizzas that they make, which is Godfather's. So we're we're like 99% sure that they use shallots in their recipe. So I'm very excited for the sauce. Mozzarella cheese again, like for the for the base cheese. Pepperoni, sautéed mushrooms and onions, because I really like the way Harley makes sautéed mushrooms and onions. And a little bit of bell pepper for a little extra texture. Excited for that. And then the cheese is stuffed with Colby Jack. Or not the cheese, the, the, cr the crust is stuffed with Colby Jack. It's got a Colby Jack stuffed crust. Like... This pizza's probably gonna kill me, but it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, I was right. Oh, that's so good. How's the how's the stuff? I'm gonna start eating this one in reverse. How's the stuffed crust? This was a very good idea. <laughs> but again, for the first time, I may need a fork to consume this pizza. As it is falling apart just a little bit. I think the hardest part for me right now, though, is the fact that the pizza is still super hot. So it's hard to grab and hold. And I want to just dig in. Next round of poison. I like the fact that it lasts just long enough to proc it still. It does make the uh, grueling poison grind against this dude like so much more tolerable. Which, I mean, I also technically want to apologize if anyone was expecting me to, like, actually fight this dude.
Because, uh... Th this, this is about as much fighting this dude as you're gonna see me do. <laughs> I honestly just wish I could actually use, like... Night Maiden's Mist instead of... Instead of Poison Mist. But no, Night Maiden's Mist, despite being described as a stealthy way to kill people, immediately alerts them to danger because of the damage. So they immediately become hostile and start running around instead of just dying to the Night Maiden's Mist. Makes me grumple. Because again, it's basically Pestilent Mist from Dark Souls 3, which in Dark Souls 3 is fantastic. Granted, it also has the same issue, but I mean, in Dark Souls 3, you're not really expecting to uh, stealth around enemies. But like. Here, you kind of want to stealth around enemies, and it would be good, but its range is also absolutely bullshit. Like, it does not go very far, and it does not... I don't think it does nearly as much damage as Pestilent Mist did in Dark Souls 3, either. Because Dark Souls 3, it did, like, a percentage of the target's health per tick. And, uh... Excuse me. But I think they, I think it might be a, like a lesser, uh, lesser percentage with Night Maiden's Mist in Elden Ring. Because if you went up against something like, say, Madir in Dark Souls Three with Madir's absolutely massive fucking HP bar, it would slowly take like chunks out of their bar. Like it was still kind of a slow burn, but because of how big Madir was, as well as just, again, how much HP Madeir had. It was a fantastic tool for getting in a lot of damage. My favorite way to fight Madeir, actually. It's kind of the only way I fought Madeir. Don't worry, guys. We'll get him eventually. He'll be dead by Christmas. Is there anything you guys want to talk about while we're waiting? Like, anybody looking forward to uh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy after we're done with uh, Elden Ring? I know I am. I'm looking forward to all those achievement dings. Because again, I haven't even... I think it might have been booted up like once. As like just clicking through my library. Because sometimes my mouse likes to double click on its own. So it... It triggers things like, oh, hey, we're going to launch this game. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not playing that right now. It's going to be Spyro Reignited Trilogy in the future. I'm hoping one day to be able to buy Mech Warrior. Because I would stream Mech Warrior 4. However... It doesn't want to work, which makes me very grumpled. Because I like Mech Warrior 4 a lot, especially with the Mech Tech packs that I had. 
gave me access to things like the Marauder 2 with its giant rail cannon. Oh yeah. Sniper mech. Like, big bad sniper mech. Assault class. Huge rail cannon on its back. And it would just... Womp. Pack the biggest punch. But of course, my preferred mech is, and forever shall be, the Timber, a.k.a. Mad Cat. And I can use either the Mark I or Mark II variant. Mark I being a heavy class mech, the Mark II variant being an assault class variant. For those wondering, the uh, classes go from light to medium to heavy to assault in terms of weight or tonnage. So the heaviest mechs are the assault class. They're tanky, they pack a big punch, can carry lots of armaments, but they are slow as hell. The light mechs are very quick, but very fragile. Can't pack much for armaments either. On the flip side, you got mediums. Pretty good balance overall. A little, little faster on their feet than, than heavies. Can pack an okay amount of armaments. Generally pretty good to have. Just overall. Like usually if you're seeing someone running around with a, uh, their own Lance of Mechs. Like... If anyone wants something that's fast but isn't going to get one shot by <laughs> pretty much anything, they're going to run around in a medium. If you want something that packs a pretty decent punch, a little on the slow side, but not too bad, you want a heavy. But if again, if you just want to be tank, and you want to pack damage... And you want to carry every weapon under the fucking sun and all of the ammo for it? You want an assault mech. Malformed dragon. Okay. Neat. Neat beans. Why is this still... There's a boss beyond here, isn't there? Well, I guess I'll be right back as I rearrange my, uh... Spell setup again. Instead of being Sneak 100, we're gonna be, uh... Back to being Mage 100. Roger, Roger... Roger, and... Yeah. Although, since I'm not currently focusing super heavy on weapon skills again. Back to the old bear, except for most of it. Toss up one of these, one of these. Uh, one of these, and one of these. Maximum sorcery. I guess I'll go ahead and crab back the dark. And great sword. And my favorite shield. Boom. Oop. Again, get rid of, like, the head wrap on Rogier's helmet, or Rogier's hat. And I'd, I'd totally have this be just a signature outfit. Then again, that's also kind of what I don't like about Alberic's hat, is the whole wrapped around my face and eyeballs. But Rogier's hat is also a much bigger hat, too, so... 
Plus it flattens the collar out, which honestly looks kind of nice. You either got like this nice little flat collar that just kind of blends in. Or you got this where the collar kind of like pops up. And, you know, that's that's fine and all. It doesn't it's not like it looks bad. But I kind of I kind of like the color being flattened out. Plus, well, aside from the fact that Ronnie's hat is technically bigger, like if it wasn't for the fact that the color scheme of the hat just doesn't. Like, this does not go together. But it is a very nice, very big hat. In the meantime, I shall stick to Rogier's. Alright, who's about to kill me? I'm real glad I have this. Wait a minute. I had him kill me on purpose, because one, I forgot to reset my spells. Two... I'm pretty sure I need to give him... another, uh... Another, what's it called? Uh, death root. Like, I'm missing, like, one death root. So I might have to go in and sacrifice a twig. Never mind, I don't need to go sacrifice a twig. Okay, time to double check where all the death root is. Assuming I can still give it to him. Uh, death root. Alright. Okay. Death touched catacombs is the first one. I'm 99% certain I've already got that one. Uh, Limgrave Tibia Mariner at Summon Water Village. 99% certain I have that one. But I am not opposed to checking to see if somehow I just ran past him and didn't kill him. It would be a little awkward, but I mean, hey. Nah, he did. All right. Lyrany of the Lakes, chest behind the cemetery shade in the Black Knife Catacombs. I'm pretty sure I've got that one. Well, let's check. Once I go in, it'll tell me beast eye quivers if I haven't gotten it. No? No beast eye quiver? Okay, so I've already got it. Uh, Lyrnia of the Lakes, Tibia Mariner, and East Lyrnia of the Lakes. Pretty sure it's like somewhere along here, so I'm gonna go here to Lyrnia, Lyrnia Highway North. <sighs> and trace my way up. I know roundabouts where he should be, if he's still alive. Also, while I'm here, I should go visit 
the uh should go visit Jar Baron. Give him Alexander's innards. Hey, looks like I got this guy. But real quick, gonna go down to Jarburg. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Altus Plateau, kill Tibby Mariner at Wyndham Ruins. I know I did that one. That's why the skeleton, the giant skeletons don't spawn there anymore. How does the giant skill Tibby Mariner on the ledge between Castle Soul Main Gate and Snow Valley Ruins Overlook? Yeah, I think that was the one I got as well. And how's a giant's chest after defeating the stray mimic tier in the secret catacombs underneath the hidden path to the Halig tree? Ah, I think that's what I'm missing. Now, before I hand these over, before I hand over Alexander's innards. I want to know what it says about him. The keepsake of the warrior jar Alexander, found at the core of the dead flesh that once filled the great jar. The jars contain dregs inherited from those who came before. Thus are warriors passed from jar to jar, carrying dreams of greatness. So essentially I give this to him, and he inherits Alexander's strength. And knowledge. Go little warrior jar. I'll begin my journey once I'm ready to go as a warrior jar in search of glory. Wow. Cos Arden's insides from Uncle Alexander. <sighs> Thank you. Cos I'm a warrior jar. So I need to be strong. I can really have them. Fine? I understand. I'll get strong. Strong enough. I deserve to have Uncle's insights. I don't think I'll see you again. When I set out. Warriors are supposed to work alone. Goodbye, Cos. And thanks for everything. I'll never forget you, Cos. I'll never forget. You go, little Jar Baron. Become the warrior you believe that you were meant to be. said yeah hidden path to the helig tree the secret area I really gotta stop forgetting to switch my spells around. Also, I feel like people are probably tired of me switching my spells around all the time. <laughs>
I know there's two more of them. I wasn't even talking about you, man. Well, he is in common to Zero on you would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it would. Ah, oh, you spat at me. Boo. Beast Eye Quivers. for the difficult part. Invisible path time! <clears throat> Once I'm pretty sure I can just go straight across. Yeah.
Now just to try and figure out which way the other way is. Pretty sure this... Pretty sure this is it right here. And just in case any of these hit the floor. Or anything else on the way over. Yeah, I like that pillar. Ooh! I think I was prepared for that. Or at least mentally. Hey, buddy. Something, something, it's free real estate. And you're just taking that damage like a champion. Now let me, uh, one of these. Holy shit! Man, I was not ready for him to jump that up. <laughs> All right, you did. You you go you good and dead, as you should be. Again, trust in nothing. Explode everything. Of course. Two of you happened to be alive. Which just further emphasizes my point. I didn't explode everything hard enough. So somewhere, apparently, I missed the lever. I well, guess it's over that way.
If not, then I have absolutely no idea where it could be. Yeah, you're up above me. Bonk. Oh, come on. I said bonk. There we go. Or if I do it from a little further away, if I can actually squeeze all four of them in. Nah, because one of them hits the fucking floor. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so where's the lever? Where did I miss the lever at? Hmm. Obviously it had to be somewhere in this general direction. Right? Is it in here? It was in here and I missed it. Oh. I am an insult to my own kind. Well, let's hope that uh, two flasks is enough to get me through this fight. Alright, Oga. <laughs> Stray mimicked here. Fucking a one shot missile. <laughs> oh man. What a nerd. Doesn't he know he needs to invest in HP? There you go. Should be the last one. Because it's Bestial Constitution, I believe.
Uh, cool beans. Alright, now to go kill him. Or at least try and kill him. Uh. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I don't think I got the... I don't think I got everything I would need for the strat. But hopefully Oga can help me out here. Oga! Oga! Hey, can you guys take this fight somewhere else, please? Bro, chill, it was just a prank. I love that his dagger... Ooh! Why did it move me all the way over here? I was all the way over there by the gate! It's got a weird spot to be put in. But anyways, I love that his dagger is supposedly, like, the base handle of the Black Blade, the, uh, the Cinquedea, which, did I ever pick up the Cinquedea? <gasps> I didn't! Oh, that's fine, I can always pick it up later. I know where it's at. This is kind of a pain in the butt to get to, because it's... Very slow descent down the back of the building. Hey, uh, Oga? Oga, please? Oga, please? Hey, if, uh, two of you don't mind having your little, uh, 
party over there. I'm just gonna... Probably should have... Topped up my FP. Also, you know what? I'm gonna just top up my HP because I realized he did a little bit of shaving damage and I'm not getting as much damage out of my attacks as I could. Uh. Alright, Yoga, I got, I got ya. Okay, uh, Oga? Oga, help. Oga, help. Oga, help! Oga, why didn't you help? I also realize I don't think I ever recovered my, uh, my runes. I, mean, I don't think I have that many. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Oga take a small break from this fight. And we're gonna summon Tish. Black, ba Black Blade versus Black Blade, basically. Alright, Tish. Yeah, I did not recover those uh, runes. Oh, what the hell, man? Why'd you look at me instead of Tish? No, it's not fair. Tish literally almost pushed him to fucking phase two pretty much on her own. I think Tish is the way to go here. Hell, if, if Tish is that effective, hold on. Maybe I can be effective with the Black Blade as well. Because I know they stack. I know that from fighting motherfucking Melania. Which, uh, I'll be honest, this fight seems like it's going to go a lot easier than Melania. <laughs> it's too bad I won't have the strength to wield Malekith's Black Blade when I'm done. I'll have the faith. Faith requirement will be met. Easy peasy, lemon cheesy. Bro, Malekith, why are you looking at me? Wrong blade. Uh-oh. Yeah, I figured that would kill me. Like, I had no idea how it was gonna... <laughs> I tra Why do I do this to myself? I trap myself in a corner every time. No, it's great. I'm just gonna I'm gonna buff up my Dark Moon Greatsword before I uh Before I even step inside. And then I'm gonna step inside and then I'm just gonna summon Tish. And I'm gonna try and stay on the defensive until uh Tish has a turn and I immediately forgot to buff. Tish, help! Tish, help! Okay, the damage ticks carried him over. And... Now I need to run. 
Tish help. Tish help. Tish, get him. Don't worry, Tish, I'm just rebuffing my stuff. I'll I'll totally I'll I'll totally be helpful. As I spam the crap out of something that lets me hit him and run away. Oh god. Ooh! Well I didn't think that was gonna reach me past the pillar. Oh my heart. Oh. I'm too old for jump scares like this. You can't do that to me. Ugh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit. God damn. Like, beyond not prepared for that. Okay, Tish, you and, uh... You and my guy duke it out over here. I'm just gonna throw a couple of these. Okay, that was, uh, easy enough. Now I need to run away. And Tish, I really need you to hit him. Jesus fucking Christ. Malekith, why? Teach, please. Teach, please. Teach, please. Okay. <clears throat> and I need to get away from that. Tish, please. Uh, Tish, please. Tish. Am I gonna fight Wolner next? I didn't touch that cup. I swear I didn't touch that. What is that? <clears throat> oh. I, 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 I didn't do it. The rule of death is unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. <clears throat>
Yo. Farewell, it is then. That looks kind of cool, though. The Elden Lord yet. Hell yeah. I got the beans for it. Oh man, it's like the end of Dark Souls 3 all over again. Behold, the Erd Tree yet stands. Tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. <laughs> then we are yet a golden ones. I forgot to give all the seed bed curses to uh Dung Eater. I'm gonna have to do that again. God damn it. Well, hello, Gideon Ofnir. But I'm not ready to speak to you, or rather, confront you, just yet. There are some things I must yet do. The fact that I can't use torrent still is rather irritating. Just thought I'd make that clear.
Man, the ashes came down on this place so hard. Hey, look, this is that ladder I once used to get into Lanedale. Well, hi! Just operating under the assumption that you don't have the range to get up here. But you know, honestly, I'm really grateful for I don't feel like fighting you face to face. Because we are kind of face to face. I mean, you can see me, I can see you, you can see my face, I can see your face. Aw, oh, man, that's cool. Why can't our twin blades have moves like that? We spin them around, and then while spinning them, we spin them around our body. Just so much spin. More spin than would ever be necessary. You know what I mean? Why can't we have that? Oh man, there used to be a side of grace here. Oh, here's the cane sword. I guess I could still have that. Shoot, I don't even remember what this lever was for. Oh, well, it's not used for anything now. Somber ranging dragon smithing stone. Pretty much literally... Oh, I was about to say, literally nobody survived. Now nobody survived. But I suppose before I make my way up to, uh, Gideon and do all that stuff, I have some, uh, remembrance exchange to new items can be purchased from the Twin Maiden Husks. Whoa. This place is actually literally burning. Also, I'm surprised that it was telling me about new items specifically from the Twin Maidens. Not gonna lie, seeing those ashes fall from the ceiling actually gave me a little bit of a start. So, uh... What's new? Ah, Lord's Divine Fortification. As I forgot to get it from Gideon after defeating Melania. Uh... Well, I'm glad they did that. Uh, 
Morgan Rodrigo. Hugh, how are you holding up? Oh, poor Hugh. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? Noise. Why does that girl think for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? Or Hugh. As everything finally falls apart, he basically begins experiencing dementia and dying of old age. Feels bad, man. Just because I want to check out the arena.
Doesn't look like there's anything left here then. Ah, that's not where I needed it to be. Back to uh, Landell, capital of Ash. Really, that's it? That's all that was for? Well, alright then. It's off to face the dreaded Gideon Offnir. Wait a minute. <gasps> the boy! I need to check if he's okay. Fuck! Where is Buck? Oh, thank goodness. I'm surprised there's no further dialogue. Like, I'm glad he's okay, but I was, you know, I was expecting a little more of a conversation out of him. Wait, here is. Yes, the beast champion armor. I promised to show everyone the drip that is Bernal's armor. Once it has its cape. Now this helmet <coughs> kinda ugly. <laughs> like, cool concept. But kind of ugly. The gauntlets? Kind of dope. Like, they have, like, built-in brass knuckles. Along with this really nice, uh, intricate design. The boots? Kind of the same deal. You know, you got, like, the really intricate designs. Look really good. This cape, though. That Bernal's altered armor has. The one that you didn't get to see him wearing. Has no business... Looking this cool.
And why he doesn't use it is beyond me. Too bad, it's just way too heavy for me. But, I'm gonna be right back. I need to use the restroom. In the meantime, I'm just gonna turn this way so everyone can see this amazing cloak that Bernal had that we, he doesn't use for some reason.
All right. Since I very much cannot run around with Bernal's armor, this is literally just the chest piece alone. It tilts my weight into the uh, heavy category. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my <laughs> usual drip. And we are off to face Gideon Offner, the all-knowing, to acquire one of my final items. One of the last things I need. Does he need help? Hmm? Does he need help? He does. He's going to once I get there. I need help. I need help! Fucking <laughs> Gideon. Ah. Uh, the silly man. Because while I'm not a fan of uh, mace type weapons personally, you know, no offense to those who do like them, do want to use them, good on you. Enjoy what you enjoy. The mace that he has provides a very unique benefit to one of my nature. Where, when its ability is activated, the mace uh, causes a area-wide debuff to everything, causing it to take a much higher amount of magical damage. And while technically the debuff also applies to myself, well, let's just say I'm not as worried about it as Gideon is going to need to be. <laughs> He'll know it in his bones. Or at least what remains of them when I'm through. I need to run in. Cast my buff. Drink my potion, and then just lay into him. And I think I got it. Goodbye, Gideon. Ah, I see. That's actually a clever move, Gideon. Ah. You thought well until now. Mage to mage. Good fight, Gideon. I underestimated your ability to get, uh, to actually get up from the, uh, up and out of the way of, uh, Comet Azur. Is he gonna do his speech again? Or is he gonna go straight to the fight? Straight to the fight.
Ooh, sneaky. So yeah, he, uh, didn't very much stick to his normal speech, which is fine. However, I do need to win. I didn't see that. Wait, did he just use Scarlet Ionia? Why would you use that? It takes up way too many spell slots. How do I want to go about this? Because like me, he does a lot of damage. But unlike me, he has a lot of spells at his disposal. Ah, oh, he dodged through and I didn't. Hmm. Maybe I should use Comet Azure again. I can technically just use it from the door. That's not where you want to be. Well, shit. I really need to use something that he's not going to be able to dodge as well. Then again, I use the night sorceries, but it's, it almost feels too cheesy. If I could rotate to my stuff properly, I should probably take the spyglass off of my my bar. I'm confident in my ability to do damage to him. Hmm. 
I just feel like maybe my choice of spells wasn't exactly what it should have been. I also like that he's known as Sir Gideon Offner, because clearly he has been knighted. There we go, that's all I needed. It was more ancient death rancor. Do you know it in your bones? Yeah, you know it in your bones. Yes, I can. I've already done so several times. And there is my scepter of the all-knowing. One of the final pieces of the puzzle. Requires 18 decks? Are you fucking joking me? I don't think the debuff has affected, uh... By the, uh, levels and such. Are you kidding me? I'm just shy. Also, I forgot to go... Exchange for the Black Blade incantation and stuff. I, I forgot to get, uh, extra power. Out of Malekith. Hey, you said you were going to stay with me. Why did you die? Probably smoke inhalation. I'm gonna come over here to the mausoleum compound, duplicate that one. Because I don't think I've used both... Uh, ...mausoleums. I'm not even sure if I've actually used either of these or if I just kind of brought them to the ground. Oh, I definitely haven't used this one. This one's the door is still closed. Hell yeah.
What's happened to Hugh? Hmm. He has returned. The Lord has returned at long last. Our very first Lord to brandish the Elden Ring once more. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here for that Elden Ring. I'm here for that Elden Bling. I'm gonna be the Elden Bean. I want a few... get a few thousand souls though before uh we're going up there thank you for Erd tree heal because um not gonna lie I want to be able to actually use the hammer and its skill and I need like one level index, and I'm like, 20,000 points, Shay! Being able to use it! And that's just 20,000 points too many.
There we go. The Queen's Bedchamber. One point in dexterity, if you please. Uh. Admittedly, Gideon made a very interesting, a uh, very interesting point of the trick that he used. Uh, when he's, uh, when I was fighting him, in that, um, the, uh, the spell that he was using was, in fact, uh, Basically, he debuffed both of us, himself and myself, with the spell. But then he turned around and immediately used... Uh, I want to say it's... Uh, it's one of these support spells... Yeah, Law of Regression. Uh, to basically remove the debuff from himself. So he debuffs me, removes the debuff from himself, and he's good to go. Now, I haven't used the Black Blade spell yet. I've never owned it. But I'm not gonna lie, I kinda really wanna try it out. So it's a spell that actually has a follow up. That's kinda fucking dope. I'm sure it does holy damage, though. Similar to the, uh, standard black blade. <clears throat> Any, uh, allies I can summon for this fight? Because I'll be honest. Not necessarily feeling super confident about my ability to survive his attacks. Oh, shit. I was almost kidding. Hi, Nefeli. How you doing? Well, it's you, me, and Oga. Oh, sorry. Tish, potentially? I want to bring Oga, though. Oga's been a bro this whole fucking time since I got him. So I want to use Oga. thou fight tarnished warrior spurned by the grace of gold be assured the elden ring rests 
stood close at hand. <clears throat> Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Hey, Nefeli, thanks. All right, Oga. Let's get it. Wait, no black blade effect? No maximum health reduct? I get to do the damage ticks. Nivelle, are you gonna get in there and help Oga? Ooh. I didn't pack a healing spell. Oh no. Holy shit! <coughs> he packs quite a little up, doesn't he? Man, the range on that. Okay, let's toss a healing spell on this time. Black Blade is definitely fun and useful. But I might just stick to Rancor Call.
I don't know, we'll see. Is he gonna do the cutscene again, or are we going straight to the fight? You know, obviously phase two is definitely going to be somebody going to attack him I don't want it to be me first guys come on guys come on I'm the squishy mage you can't make me fight him first And now that he's debuffed... Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh, how did I get away with that? I don't know how I got away with that. to pick up the pace and fighting him and not just leaving it to me. I'm the squishy mage. I don't open the fight. Okay? <coughs> yeah. Lordy Lou. I forgot to summon Nefeli. Wait, does he not have the debuff? There we go, now he's got the debuff. Because that's one magical debuff. How about two? Uh -huh. Bro! <laughs> can I can I block that? Can I block that? I don't think I can block that. I'm gonna try to block it. Try to block that arena wide attack. Okay. Dude, don't you walk away. I don't know why you lot are all just walking away. The Philly! Oh my god!
I... He kicks into phase two while I'm dying. Thanks. <laughs> the last thing I see... Uh, the last thing I see is... It kicks me back to the side of grace is Nefeli being fucking pile drivered into the arena floor. That's what you get for just standing there and letting Oga get the shit beat out of him. Stupid bitch. <laughs> okay. So let's try this again. We go in. I run forward a little bit. Get Oga out here. And then you two get ready to fight with Godfrey. I'll throw up a couple of debuffs on him. <clears throat> First of all, debuff one. Nailed it. Uh, debuff two. <clears throat> Toss a spell in there. Get a couple of black blades as I die. Because <clears throat> I was way too close. Still, though, the amount of damage I'm outputting with the double debuff is... Mwah. Chef's kiss. I could probably output even more damage if I had the uh, ability to wield the jellyfish shield. But... It does make me wonder about using... Comet Azura, though. Ooh. Ooh, the amount of damage I might be able to do with something like Comet Azura. Especially given that he just kind of stands there for a little while and slowly... ever so slowly walks towards me. What kind of range do I got on this? Oh, I actually got him from there. <clears throat> Plus, that got everyone else to actually engage. Okay, debuff number two. Don't mind me, God. Oh, God, I'm dead. <clears throat> Man, he timed that real good. <clears throat> like, went two different directions. One was directly on top of me, and there was no way I was getting out of that. Respect. Respect for the mans. On that note, though, <clears throat> as I stated, I want to give Comet Azure a go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Terra Magica. Ronnie's Dark Moon. Comet Azure. To pair with all the buffs and debuffs that I can possibly throw. Minus the Jellyfish Shield, of course. I think this could go surprisingly well. Honestly, I'd love if I could actually just hit him with this ability from across the damn arena. The debuff from Gideon's Mace. The, uh, Scepter of the All-Knowing. I don't think it'll reach him, though. He 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it applied. Try again. Yep, now it's hit him. Okay, Ronnie's Dark Moon. Bam. Top off with a double sip. Place down my Terra Magica. Sip of my soup. I'm gonna get that debuff up. Debuff number two. Shield up. Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh, we technically had it. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm guessing. As soon as phase two starts. Dodge. Hit him with that fat debuff. Hit him with a moon and then probably another moon. Like, just double moon. In fact, I'm gonna... I don't normally open... Nope. Uh... Terra Magica. Come on! I was trying to jump! Cause I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Is I'm supposed to jump over it? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna equip another spell that way I can have something faster for phase two. Probably... Probably Comet, cause I need it to... I need it to fly at a good speed. Well, I might just use Comet normally anyways. I'd love to use Cannon of Haima, but... Here we go again. Oga. Throw out that sick, tasty debuff. I did that wrong. Because I miraculously somehow still have enough to hit him with the second debuff. Bam. Ooh. It wasn't, though, because I fucked that up. It was nobly fault.
Ugh. I think the worst part is the next, uh... Whoever... <clears throat> whoever comes next. I'm pretty sure... That, uh... Well, first of all, I messed up by not bringing, uh, Nefeli. And there's my sign that I did, in fact, hit him with the debuff. Okay, so it is a jump. Cool. Oh, I, well, I wasn't ready for you to do the quick ver- Why do you have quick versions of that? That's so not fair! Because I'm like 90% sure that expand- that spans the whole fucking arena. Like, I could literally be on the complete opposite side of the room. And that would still hit me. <clears throat> Come on, Nefeli. Okay, fat debuff number one. Fat debuff number two. I don't know why you keep following me, Nefeli. The fight is over there. Terra Magica. Countazer! Got him. There we go, that's all I needed to do. Remembrance of Horalu. Horalu. Warrior. Man, this is worth 300 freaking thousand souls. Great work, Oga. Well, this does, does bring up an interesting thing. Um. Pretty, pretty sure that there's somebody I haven't fought that I really need to fight. So that I don't get the frenzied flame ending. And, uh. I'll be honest, I don't know where to go to find them.
Let's see. I'm just following the instructions so I can go fight Placidus X. Uh, down the lift, go through the watery temple full of beastmen outside to the cliffs. I wonder, does this... Nope, you have no idea. Two for one. You go to the... Oh. said like southwestern edge and look down? Ah. Uh. Mighty Dragon Placidus Ax. You shall fall before me. Lie down. Okay. Huh? Okay, what would have in encouraged my character to find a spot and lie down there to reverse time? Who the fuck? Cause I need to use, uh, I need to use Mikla's needle. Where in here I use Mikla's needle? I honestly couldn't tell you. I just know it's supposedly somewhere in here. Hey there. Alright, I have used Mikkel's Needle, and have quelled the Flame of Frenzy. Well, Oga...
Let's see what we've got. Well, that's just a little unfair, don't you think? I was just done getting set up, too. I was gonna use Kama to and everything. Speaking of, I do want to squeeze a little more damage out of Commodizer, so I am going to use this. Definitely not my favorite drip. Do I have to watch the whole cutscene again or no? Skip. Wow, he is just gonna calmly wait there. I think the scariest part about Placidia Sacks right now is just the fact that I can't fully see, like, what he's up to. Oh my god, he dropped a nuke. Oh, that's bad.
At this point, I'm just wondering if there's a better way past everything. I mean, at the very least, obviously I have every intention to fight and defeat Placidius Axe. But if at any point I decide to just move on and try and finish the game, uh, I have at least taken care of the Frenzied Flame ending bit, so that's not a concern. I think I missed. Well, I probably missed with the other debuff too. That's right! I changed my flask of wondrous physic. It doesn't have the magic buffs that it's supposed to have. No wonder I couldn't do super duper pooper scooper beam. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Where's my where's my wondrous physic? Boost attack. Eliminate all FP consumption. Alright. For real this time. I just need Oga to keep his attention while I finish my setup. And I should be able to just pommel him. Especially considering that means I was missing out on like 25% of my damage.
25% damage. You know, a bigger debuff. I'm just gonna run for it. Well, Sergius Axe is a much more interesting battle than uh, the other two, anyways. Honestly, Placidus Axe is probably also big enough, uh, kind of like the giant that I'd... From point blank, I could probably hit most meteors. More specifically, not necessarily just that he's big enough, like tall enough, but that he's wide enough. Because that was kind of the problem I had with several of the enemies when trying to use it, is that it, they gotta be either, like, point blank or they gotta be wide. Alright, Oga. Once again. Bringing you out first. I'm gonna focus on not dying. While Placidious Axe gets mad. And makes his way over. I'm gonna top off on, on uh, my blue Kool-Aid. <clears throat> and Placidious Axe just really wants to roar down that lightning. He's gonna... Is he gonna come over here anytime soon? There we go. And I'm gonna throw down my debuff. Oh, come on. No, that's not fair. Well, dropping a, a, a lightning nuke on Oga. You gonna do Oga dirty like that? That definitely missed. Again, just kind of coming in here making sure that I do, in fact, get that debuff down. Put down my Terra Magica. Fucking hell. These t chances I would, but I, w I want it to be Oga. Not gonna lie. Uh, especially also considering that um, Oga will actually fight from range, whereas Tish will. I like. I have to get close before Tish will get close, and that's really difficult to do with my build. Yes, I have beaten Malekith. I did use Tish for Malekith, but that's also because Malekith comes running at me like right away from the from the start of the fight. When he's in the form of Garunk. Um, and it just makes it so much easier to have Tish because she'll dive right in as he's rushing at me and start the uh and immediately get him away from me and keep him busy. But like these longer range fights when I want to potentially summon right away. Oga is a much better way to, for me to start. Malakath took, I want to say, a few tries, but uh, one of those was because of the fact that I thought I was at a safe distance behind the pillar. From, uh, like, I wasn't right up against the pillar. I was a ways back from it. And he did that, like, AoE uh, rapid blade burst around him, and it managed to get me. Like, I just, I, th I thought I was at a safe enough distance. Apparently not. <laughs> that one scared the poop out of me. Like, oh, man. 
But no, I, I want to use Oga for this. Oga's my bro. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to have to waste an extra flask on him. Maybe if I get closer, he'll uh, get mad and he'll start... Why me? Olga's the one shooting you. Like, the fact that he even attacked me as I was dying from the lightning, like, what the hell, man? Here, let me... Da-da-da. Not that I think I'll survive any of his attacks. Uh, support... I'm gonna throw on heal. I'm pretty sure there's a bigger lightning fortification. Yeah, golden lightning fortification. Bang. Dragon did a oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, and we did a little fucky wucky. Like. <laughs> I've messed that up. I don't really feel like I need any more spells, honestly, other than that. Give me and Oga some uh, lightning damage resistance. Big bunch of lightning damage, because that is a major part of where his damage comes from, is just ancient dragon lightning. But then if I get my uh, debuffs stacked on him, manage to get down Terra Magica, and then drink my Wondrous Physic, I should be able to just absolutely obliterate him with Comet Azor. Because even when I wasn't doing it correctly, I tore a, I tore a healthy chunk off of him with Comet Azor the first time. And I... I had two mistakes that prevented that battle from just being over. Uh, mistake number one, I hadn't reset my physic. So, that physic was for a physical combat setup, not a magic combat setup. So, I was missing both my like 25% damage boost from the hit uh, from the cracked magic tier and I was missing out on infinite FP from the hidden crystal tier so I probably could have killed him after a uh, dinner like I think it was like attempt two or three where I actually got the setup I just ran out of FP and I was like wait why did I run out of FP I just drank my physic and then it dawned on me that I hadn't actually... There we go, Golden Lightning Fortification. I'm gonna switch over to the staff of... Gideon Ufnir, the All-Knowing. If Placidious Axe would like to get his ass over here any time in the near future. Initially I wanted to beat Placidious Axe with the God for you build, but he's too fucking tanky. I mean, I don't know. Waiting for Placidious Axe to make a move over in this direction. Are you just gonna keep screaming? This whole time, I'll start healing. I'll start healing, my boy. Like, if you're just gonna stay over there, I'll start healing and buffing my boy. I need a bigger range on this thing. Because I'm scared to get close to my boy. Two, 
Dude, Placidious X, what the hell? I'm dead. <gasps> I live. I'm about to be dead, though. Yep. Told you I was about to be dead. Why in the name of... <laughs> Why in the name of anything does he just stand there and scream? At that rate, I could possibly just... Just do something really stupid. And I'm tempted to do something really stupid. Is he immune to poison? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. To be honest, I think this is the most cinematic boss in the whole game. Probably. Let's see. Strong versus magic, fire, lightning, holy, poison, scarlet rot, hemorrhage, and frostbite. But is he immune? Doesn't seem like he's immune to sleep and madness. But he is not immune to poison or scarlet rot. So you're telling me if I just happen to get an absolute butt ton of arrows, especially poison arrows no less, that I could probably just cheese the crap out of Placidious Sex because he's not going to run at me. I will try Tish at this point. Because maybe when she gets hit by a bolt of lightning, she'll rush in there and start doing shit. Cause that's the that's the only issue I'm technically having with uh, the fight right now is the fact that since he keeps just standing in the middle of the arena and screaming, instead of running over and hitting people, cause I need him to run over and like fight. I don't even want to fight my dudes so that I can start doing my setup. I'm just gonna hope that Tish will actually go across the arena and start fucking fucking him. That's really all I need them to do, is get him busy. While I apply both debuffs from the Scepter of the All-Knowing and Ronnie's Dark Moon. And then place my uh, Terra Magica.
And then once I've got my Terra Magica down, I just drink my flask and fire my uh, Comet Azur. Alright. Tish. Okay, you're just gonna run off immediately. I like it. I like it. Let me uh, protect myself here really quick. Top that off. Switch on over to my scepter of the uh, all-knowing. Glad to see you're putting in work there, Tish. Uh, let me just uh, apply that tasty debuff. I don't know if I actually hit the debuff. Can't really tell if it's on his body. Okay. Fair play to you, Placidious Axe. Fair play to you. You know, you, you realized what I was up to and you weren't having it. But I'm going to let you know now. That's not going to stop me. Because, you see, if it stopped me, that would imply that I'm anything but a moron. You have underestimated my ability to be a moron. Just gonna need to keep this, uh, pretty much at the ready, aren't I? Actually, let's see how much of a debuff this really applies to enemies. Here we go. Hey, he's got the debuff. And bam. Not bad. Not bad. It's a pretty solid debuff. I don't remember how much damage it really allows me to squeeze out. But, I mean, I I will absolutely take the extra damage that it grants. Although, since none of the spells I'm using are technically charge-up spells. I'm not getting use out of the Godfrey icon. So I could get some faster cast times out with my Radigan icon, or longer buffs and debuffs with the Old Lord's Talisman. Potentially. I think we'll probably go with the Radigan icon for more spell speed. Being honest. Eh, yeah. Because I was going to say, I could also go with, like, the, uh, Bolt Drake Talisman. I think there's a plus two Bolt Drake Talisman somewhere. But I have Golden Lightning Fortification for that, so... Yeah. Just gonna. It's handy. Gonna. I'm gonna summon Tish now, and then I'm gonna. Give us both a uh, golden lightning fortification here. If she would like to, uh, go running in there. <clears throat> I'll get right up in there, cast that debuff. And then I'm gonna do one of these. Man, that f made that feel like he is a lot further away than I tend to think he is. Oh, uh... Buddy, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't nuke the field right now.
My buffs and debuffs only last so long. Hey, can you not? I just put that... that Terra Magica down. Okay. Like, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me do this. Ah! Damn it. <sighs> hmm. I don't want to ignore Terra Magica. I really don't. This also just might be a really good way to get damage in, though, as well. Is using this instead. Because, again, the only thing I really needed out of Placidious Axis Arena was being able to use the Mikola Needle to negate the Frenzied Flame ending, and I've already done that. Well, that didn't do anywhere near bearable damage. What? How the fuck was I in range still? It's a good thing I didn't have any uh, runes that I was worried about. But damn, that... Oh... Then again, I suppose its main thing is doing damage to enemies based on their health and a percentage of it, so... I guess that shouldn't be too surprising that it was so weak. It's because it was weak in that instance. I could also use my own black knife, because I know the debuff stacks. Again, I found this out with Melania yesterday. I don't know, I don't think you were there at all, Blue. Because, uh, yes, I have, I have beat Melania. I beat Melania with Cat's Help. Right. I have Cast Speed, not Damage. But fix that. And I'm gonna get us closer. Some tish. Throw down the golden lightning fortification.
And he is going nuclear pretty much immediately. Ah, oh, damn it. Idea. Because both of these spell, both the spell and the uh, black blade seem to be doing some pretty decent work. We're gonna go support spells, flame fortification, uh, golden lightning fortification. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, Flame Protect Me and Golden Lightning Fortification. Then Black Blade. And in which case, since I'm focused on, uh, going to be focused on using, uh, Holy damage. I can go back to my regular drip. Swap this out for the Sacred Scorpion Charm. The Flux Canvas Talisman for the potency of incantations. And I don't think Malekith's counts as a charged spell. Hold on. Let me check. Now that's about the same speed both ways. Show instead. I'll throw on... Probably spell speed. Which I suppose means I should also rearrange my... Sh mixed physic again. Is there a, a holy cracked tier? Use lightning. Holy! I could do that and possibly squeeze out a little damage. Eh, opaline bubble tier. Why not? It's usually a pretty solid option. Time to find out if, uh... Time to find out if Tish and I's... Uh... Mixed Black Blades can just take out massive chunks of his max HP. Like, I mean, it would be hilarious. Well, that's just not fair. 
you know, I just want to see if if I hit with the black blade knife and then the black blade uh spell if that'll like do significant like like if the those two stack. Excuse me. Actually, I could probably just find out with this guy down here. I think I hit him with the black knife and then tried to hit him with uh, black blade, see if the gray chunk from his HP bar goes, uh, goes any further down. <laughs> Would be really funny. I'm just saying. It does! I mean, he may have killed me, but that completely answers my question. So you're telling me. That high faith and dexterity builds could not only wield the black knife, but then the black blade, uh, incantation, and just massively take out chunks of the target's HP. I love that. I love that a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. It's diabolical. It's evil. It's me. <laughs> I just have to run past everybody because I don't care. Plus side, not fighting them saves me some mana. So I got flame protect me so that I don't necessarily die outright to Placidious Axe's fire breath. And golden lightning fortification for both myself and Tish to keep us alive during the insane lightning bits. Get close. Gonna start with Flame Protect Me. I remember him activating that from further away. Tish, if you wouldn't mind. Nope. Did not get her with the fortification. That's rather unfortunate. Huh. Okay, I missed because I was too far away. Hi, buddy. Alright, and... Uh, can I actually have my shield up, please? Ooh, time to run. Steam to come back. Ooh. Just gonna recast both of these real quick. They had, yeah, they ran out. I knew it. Well, I missed. Okay. Uh. It's a. Uh... Whoa! <clears throat> I 
Hey, buddy, can you chill? No! I really hope he tires out at some point from doing that. I need to recast both of these. Oh, that's a nuke. Oh, no. Well, Tisha's dead. Which means I will be following shortly after. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Mm, me being foolish enough not to have a healing spell at this point. Fuck! I really need to just... get in there and fight him, because... I keep trying to hit him from further away with the black blade and all all that good stuff. I clearly don't have the range. Like very clearly not. As I'm changing my mind, I am going with Extend spell effect. Maybe this will keep Tisha and myself alive a little longer. Especially if I can actually freaking give Tish the Golden Lightning Fortification like I tried to the first time. As I do, in fact, think that it's kind of dumb that I tried to give that to her. But... I don't know, apparently I somehow stepped just a little too close to Placidious Axe. And triggered his fight. I thought I had a little more room than that. <clears throat> I'm gonna try from here. Okay, summon Tish. Flame protect me. Golden lightning fortification for the both of us. Top off. And just effing go for it, man. Okay, Flame Protect Me is not enough. Flame Protect Me is not enough to resist the Fire Breath. That's a damn shame. I was actually feeling rather confident that time.
But I suppose that's what I get for feeling confident. I wonder if I have any better... What's the best lightning resistance piece I can put on here? Hold on. Can't really be the bull goat, can it? I hope not. How much does it provide? 14.9? 12.8? 3 3.2... Let me guess. 3.7. I think the Traveler's set's probably going to be my best option then, by the looks of it. Which does not come with a headpiece, right? Unless I do, like... One of the hoods. I never went down the red one. Hmm. It's not a lot of lightning resistance to add. But I suppose it's something. Again, I should be... I can survive the... The lightning. Preceptor? It's the fire that killed me last time. Noble's trousers. Go to 7.7. .7. We got 8.1 with the Veterans Greaves and the Scaled Greaves. A 9.9 .9 out of the Tree Sentinel for fire, fire resistance there. So, for some reason... The tree sentinel is the single most fire resistant armor that there is, and not by an insignificant amount. I guess moral of the story is if you want to be fireproof, be a tree sentinel. <laughs> Hold on, how how high can I push my fire resistance? I'm I'm literally just curious now. If I went all out on fire resistance. And I throw in say boom. I think that's all the fire resistance I can get without using my spells. There's fire, 141. Okay. And flame protect me. Hundred and forty one.
So what you're telling me is this does nothing. And what a ripple. It's supposed to greatly reduce my fire damage that I receive. Doesn't seem to actually do it. I hate how close that always gets. Makes it look like I'm gonna just slide off the ledge to my death. I mean, it's not that much different from running up here and dying, but still. At least one of them makes me feel better about my life. I'd rather die to Placidious Axe than to gravity, okay? So what's the fire resistance on this shield? I could definitely have better fire resistance. I'm guessing at 81, it's probably this shield, but that requires 48 strength, and I don't feel like... I, I don't I don't feel like putting that on. Okay. Again. Summon Tish. Golden Lightning Fortification. Flame protect me as I start moving forward. Oh, come on, why did I... How did you get two ticks off immediately? I didn't even get a chance to back up. <sighs> I feel like I need to potentially find, like, a stationary enemy just to test the range. <laughs> But I don't want to be spending a lot of time just futzing about. I'm not even sure what I get from defeating Placidia Sax. Oh, and I haven't even turned in the fucking prayer book to Muriel.
Because I need to get in there close enough to hit him with the blade. Then maybe I can back it up a little bit to hit with the, uh, the Black Blade, uh, spell. Because the shield protected me decently enough from the fire. I'm guessing Flame Protect Me helped with that to a degree. Let's get Summon Tish. Golden Lightning Fortification. Flame Protect Me. Top it off. And we're running in. Lay in with the first blade. We back it up this time. Throwing some tasty double black blades in there. I think my golden lightning fortification wore off. I think I managed to hit him? No. No, I don't think I did. I'd say it was nice knowing me, but I'd be lying. God damn it. <sighs> the dumb thing is, I feel like I re reached Placidious Axe a while ago. I'm gonna come back to Pulsigious Axe.
I've been I have been looking forward to beating this game for a while now. I'm not gonna get hung up on an optional boss. Not when I am this close to the finale. I highly doubt there's anyone I can summon for this. So aside from getting help from Oga, and essentially alone, Ooh. Ow! Damn, man. Chill. Don't worry, Ogo. We got, we got this. I just need a, uh... I just need a moment once the fight starts. Because that, that debuff, very, very clearly applied. I'm going to have to watch the whole cutscene again. This is going to be another uh, Placidious Axe. It is. Oh god. Damn, bro.
Man, I'll never understand boss AI. Like, one moment, like, NPC buddies got his attention, like, fully. The next, he just does not give a single solitary fuck about them and is only after me. Like, I hit him with one attack, man. Okay, Rolo. Alright. Rolo's got his attention. Apply debuff. Debuff applied. Secondary debuff. Okay, we missed. Attack went completely wide. So, doing that again. Making sure that Rolo's got his full attention. Terra Magica. Top off. Flask. Charge it up. Did he just basically negate 90% of my fucking damage? What the fuck was that? He like negated 90% of my damage. Also, I forgot to redo my physic again. I love the blinding white screen every time I have to redo this fight. It's my favorite flavor of pain. Okay. Debuff for Radigan. Second debuff for Radigan. Top off my magic. Switch to my shield. <laughs> Heal myself. You know what? Screw it. Black Blade. Man, that don't do shit. Rolo is absolutely getting his ass handed to him. I don't think Rolo's the pick here. Also, clearly, uh, Black Blade is not the pick either, which technically tracks its Radigan. He's probably got, like, insane holy resistance. Okay, again. Debuff. Debuff one applied. Don't be looking at me, man. Oh, come on.
Okay, considering how much she seems to be dodging shit. Which is getting me killed. I don't necessarily think Tisha's the right pick here either.
My game crashed. Just to get a quick test. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty damn effective. Smithing stone threes. Of all the weird smithing stones to need, three is not one of the ones I would have expected.
Also, admittedly, just kind of surprised that I need a smithing stone 3 at all. If I recall, it's like 2... 2 and 4 and 6, so I need like 12 apiece. So I need to go farm some more dudes. This is okay, though. You can see how much more powerful this thing is now. Let's <clears throat> adjust my shirt. This keeps riding up my back. Hey, buddy! Yeah, this is a... I didn't say this is pretty effective. That would be good for a few more stones, at least. Smithing stone eights. Um. Hmm. need a lot more runes to actually upgrade the damn thing to max. I see one. You're on camera. Yeah. Your cutie patootie is on camera. Not really sure where the poison came from.
I mean, the guy sounded the alarm and nobody came. Oh, there we go. Now to be a cheesy dickhead. Ah, wait.
nice. But we're going just straight into this, are we? So let me guess. If I die here, I have to fight him again. And then you on top of that. Right? You know what? While those two are fighting... I don't care. I know I can't use it. But I refuse to be without it. Noticing my amount of souls, I notice I don't actually get anything from defeating Radigan.
Now that I'm gonna be insane. Let me guess. Ammon fight fighting in fact fighting Radagon? Yeah. Am in fact fighting Radagon. Come on. That was going rather well. Maybe I won't worry about trying to stack both of my debuffs. It's not if I can't keep Rolo active in the fight. Fucking hell. Rolo, I really need you to not be staggered that easily, my dear. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, I know Kristoff's pretty good. 
Well, so maybe I'll farm for some stuff so I can use Kristoff instead. This might give me a good idea of, like, my actual range. So I know I'm going to hit the first guy. Can I hit the guys over there? Okay, that time I was able to hit him. Okay, so again, it's got decent range, but not super great range. Not for me. Which is really unfortunate, because I'd love if it had absolutely amazing range. Because it is a multi-person uh, debuff. Like, the fact that it affects me should be reason enough to give it better range. Like, I'm not saying it has to have, like, million-mile range or anything. But, like, if I cast it from here... Never mind, I was about to say I should be able to hit those two, and that's exactly what I got. Oh, yeah, I'm actually getting exactly what I wanted. All right, cool beans. Let's see about upgrading Kristoff because Kristoff is it Kristoff or Gristoff? Either way, dude's a dude's a tank. Like, fucking great shield and everything. Yes, I'm here for spirit tuning. Ancient Dragonite Kristoff. Need more souls. Because he is plus six, and plus six is definitely not enough. And uh, it is definitely not enough. I need to go to level work. Eight.
Hopefully I have enough to finish spirit tuning. <laughs> My spirit tuning gotta be so damned expensive. And because I know I've gotta get four for plus ten. Because I'm pretty sure I've got a uh the right kind of glove work for You never remember if it's Glove Wart or Ghost War. By the way, there's like two different kinds, and I never remember which one is the one that I need for each subtype. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I've got Great Grave Glove Wart. I would need Great Ghost Glove Wart. Well, that's fine. I'll just have a plus nine Kristoff. Plus nine is close enough, right? I mean, it's only the final boss of the game. Plus nine's fine, right? Alright, Kristoff. Show me what you got. I know you're new here, but... Supposedly you are one hell of a tank. Well, you're certainly tanky. I got that out of the deal. But keeping Radagon off my ass is supposed to be a part of the deal, too! I don't even know why he turned my way as soon as I cast the debuff on him. Like, he didn't... I didn't even do damage. Front of my glasses that are really dirty. Me noticing it has bothered my OCD. So bad to look here. Alright, and skip. Oh, come on! I didn't even get to dodge! I was spamming the dodge roll button and everything! This dude... And the worst part is, I don't think that counts as uh, lightning damage. I think it just counts as holy. So I don't even have a fortification against that. It's 
gonna top off my health. Like a good bean. Why me? Why me? Why me? All I did was cast a healing spell. So rude. All right, Kristoff. I just really wish this fucking blinding light and cutscene wouldn't play every single time. Like, can I just go into having a normal goddamn boss fog? Like, oh, he's the final boss. I get it. I got it the first time. Kristoff, attack him. Thank you. Need to uh, a little bit of this. Radigan, why? No! <laughs> I was trying to roll past him because I thought he was going to do the one where he sends the AoE in front of him. Radigan, why? Why do you keep targeting me? I'm throwing like one spell like every like five fucking minutes. Why? Is this your way of saying I need to be more aggressive in fighting you? Is that, is that what this is? If that's the case, let me bring Tish back in here. Tish will back me up. Huh. <sighs> Tish, get him. Oh, come, dude. Rannigan seriously needs to piss off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try Giant's Flame Take Thee.
God damn it. If he hadn't switched his attention to me, we might have had that. What the hell? I had my shield up. What happened there? Alright, now if I can just not completely botch this fight myself. Why are you... Dude! Why were you already aggroed onto me? I hadn't even thrown the fireball yet. I don't understand what his problem is. Like, why does he aggro onto me, like, fucking immediately? Let's try Rolo again. This Rolo tends to be pretty aggressive, and he doesn't have anything that, like... He doesn't have any skills that drop aggro. He's just not as tanky as I'd like.
I think I missed. Why does it keep hitting the floor? You know what? Kill me. Giant's Flame clearly isn't the move. Like, it packs a big punch when it hits, sure. But I've got to be way closer than I think I need to because it keeps... It keeps blowing up on the damn floor. If it didn't blow up on the damn floor, I wouldn't have so, so much of an issue with it. But that blowing up on the floor just... I, that, I can't have it. What is fire's deadly sin? Ah. I see. Ah, and I remain on fire. That's not ideal. How long does this last? How about Burno Flame? there was one of these that I could just like channel in or just continue What about flame fall upon them? Let's see what the spread's like. How bad is it? I mean, it covers a nice area. Ugh. <sighs> I'd try bringing the Crystallion in, but considering that Erdogan uses a fucking hammer, he's not going to last too long, because that's strike damage. Strike damage is their weakness. And if he's getting hit by strike damage, then he's losing that armor that makes him so damn tanky. How's this? Honestly, that didn't grab much aggro. Ooh, never mind. Why are you still so interested in me? She just hit you with like three black blades. down one to go Tish if you would do the honors
Oh, come on! <sighs> I had to spend most of that fight running anyway, so... Still, Teach was doing rather well against the Elden Beast, with pretty much out my damage. Interesting, though, that Flamefall upon them wasn't pulling that much aggro. If I can just get a consistent performance out of myself and Tish. Between using... I know it's a bit of a panic move, but I'm going to prioritize healing myself. Dude. Dude. Why? I didn't even throw out an inventive smell. He's so mean. I'm about to try the black knife. Seeing as I know that Tish can use it very effectively. You know, like, just use it to kind of stack up with hers and then, I guess, avoid the fight for the most part. Just maybe hit him again with it when it, uh, when the debuff goes down. Damn it, man. I don't get how I can hit him, like, one time and then just Tish... And then, like, Tish hits him, like, immediately after, like, comboing him, and he just decides his aggro is still locked onto me. Like, what did I do? What is your deal, dude? Like, is it just the second any spell is cast, you have a problem? Is is that it? It doesn't matter if it's offensive or not? Man. 
Man's so rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Thank you for the scratches. Riding on his balloon. He won't leave me alone. He's not even that hard. Like, I do tons of damage to his HP. Because the problem is he won't leave me alone for literally any of my summons. It's kind of like Melania. Like, watch, as soon as I cast this, he just immediately is going to hate me. See? <laughs> like, instantly. Doesn't care about anybody else. And I'm not finding anything useful about, like, summons that can pull aggro and keep it. Like, Kristoff is plenty tanky. But Kristoff just don't... Kristoff doesn't hit hard or often enough to pull aggro back off of me. I'm spending like 90% of my time running around the arena trying not to die. Tish, whenever she starts doing her evasion stuff... It's like the same fucking problem. I don't know why, but Radagon even gets mad when I use healing spells. He's gonna be mad at me. Come on. Great. I, I can't summon the can't summon the mimic. Actually, it'd probably also help if I actually remember to switch these over. Now I do more fire damage. And my incantations do more damage. But who knows, maybe, maybe I'll do just a butt-ton of damage, and then it won't be nearly as big of a fucking problem. God damn it. So I am doing more damage. This begs the question, if I pull out my biggest fire attack, will it actually do significant damage? Which would be lovely. It just begs the question, which one's my biggest fire attack? I mean, at 34th. I think it's the Flame of the Fell God. I 
Let's see. How's this work? Big ol' ball of fire. Travels around, explodes, leaves fire on. Let's give it a whirl. Why not? I never grabbed Terra Magica. That's fair. Okay, I'm gonna teach get her thing going. I'll just uh, do uh, one of those, see what it does. I'm just gonna let out a couple of those now. Yeah. Dude, what was with that sudden massive combo? Never seen him do that before. Be right back, I need to pee. Oh boy. Alright. Now that I am relieved, let us try this again. Flame of the Fell God seems to do quite a bit of damage. Well, Tish decided not to attack right away and just stood there like an idiot while Rat had killed me. So here we go again. Like, I'm right here. I want to finish this tonight. I don't, I'm not turning this into another stream. Doubling bubble tier and the what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. 
I'm gonna summon Tish. Let Tish get his aggro. And then while he's like on the other side of the room fighting her, I'm just gonna start spamming the crap out of those. And just hope to god that they all just stack up and just womp. Tish, what were you doing on the other side of the room when I summoned you? Normally you're supposed to be like right in front of me. The fuck was that? I'm pretty sure Radagon is aware of my plan. But that's not going to stop. What's up? Eh. I'm gonna take a drink. Top off here. We top off here. And then we just spam the crap out of these. Dude! You didn't even get hit by one! What the fuck? Also, wait, am I not allowed to have more than one? That looked like I wasn't allowed to have more than one out. I'm not. Oh, what the fuck? That would have been so great, though. Well, I guess Giant's Flame take the... Which I'll probably have to manually aim. Ugh. Which also means that this Flask of Wonders Physic is also useless again. <laughs> Except for maybe if I use the Opaline Bubble Tear to try and save my stupid ass. I see, Glenn. That hit me. Radigan needs to fucking chill out. God damn. Although it is my fault for also not consuming my Obeline bubble tear and beating like I thought, like I essentially said I was going to. Fire Kali Opaline Bubble Tear is basically supposed to be significant. Significant damage drop. From all sources.
Well, that didn't last very fucking long, did it? What? But there wasn't... There wasn't anything there! I... Huh? Me once again for getting my opaline bubble deer. I'm telling you guys, I'm not smart. What is this fight?
This is probably a dumb idea. Catch Flame OP? Me. Maybe not. We'll see. Holy shit, catch flame OP, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, game, you got me. Catch flame. I I gotcha. Come on. <sighs> is this what I need Topes' barrier for? This is probably what I need Topes' barrier for. Just to make sure. Yeah, since I'm not using charged spells, that's useless. So let's see if this helps me with casting. Possibly. Possibly. Either way, apparently Catch Flame fucking OP is shit. <laughs> Holy crap, the damage it did. Like, I, I didn't think I could get such a clean, uh, clean victory over Rad again. hadn't messed up that dodge roll. Again, I could have potentially had a pretty clean defeat over him. And while I assume... Uh, O-Flame does more damage. I also assume O-Flame has a much 
or has a bit of a longer cast time and isn't quite as spammable. Oh, damn it. I just barely screwed that up. Let's convert into HP when near death. I don't think that's going to save me. Really not good at figuring out how to time those AoE dodges. Ignore the damage boosts. Improve my survivability. Just a little bit. Granted, if I had the Eritrea's favor plus two, this would be better, but I'm lazy. Don't feel like figuring out where that is or how to get it. Also, I don't think I have. Oh, I do. Actually, I suppose on that note, if I just wanted to increase my HP. my rune arc? I didn't know it would remove my rune arc. I guess there was no point to doing that, then was there? Oh well. I thought the, act the rune arc would remain active, at least. Well, you don't usually pair that with an explosion, my guy. So 
I can, in fact, say I was not, I was not properly prepared for that. The damage is good enough without the other bonuses. Plus, I think the regen will help me. If I can avoid the damage long enough. Okay, I've never seen that attack either. Man just wants to be full of surprises today, doesn't he? Just need to be able to tank his attacks. The ones that the ones that do come my way. That was going well. But he just would not focus on Tish anymore. And Tish wasn't attacking him as often as I think she should have been. <sighs> it's fine, though. It'll get to that eventually. Eh? I just really don't like having to go through this stupid transitionary cutscene every single time. Like, can I just get back to the fight? Hey. Dude, why me? Lit you he was literally hit by Tisha's black blade like five fucking times. Why me? Why is aggro so hard to draw? I wonder if darkness would work. Probably not. I wanna try though.
I'll throw this on here too. Why not? I'll try darkness and shadow bait. I really don't think shadow bait's gonna help me that much, but hey, we'll see. In fact, Shadow Bait's probably going to be, like, the first thing I throw out here. Let's see. Hey, Radigan, did that make you mad? Rad Radigan. 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 Let's try it again. Radigan. Hey, does, does, that, does that... Not really. Hey, what about this? Well, that does definitely make you mad at me for some reason. Ah! Casting darkness is like putting a target on my head. God damn. You know that just because I can. Let, let's just let's go a little bonkers here. A little, a little insane, a little off the wall. Let's try Scarlet fucking AM. <laughs> this is not going to go well. I'm gonna get like one shot. Like the second I start, like I don't even think I'm gonna get to finish casting it. Especially if I accidentally forget to summon Tish. Well, I got to cast it. And it triggered Scarlet Rot? What? I can use Scarlet Rot? What? New plan. Well, first of all, I'm still gonna have, still gonna carry a few of these because I like these, and I feel like I need that. But uh, actually, how long does that last? Hold on. That might be my ticket to surviving the ranged attacks of the uh, Elden Beast. I'm still gonna throw that on. Give me that. Because I swear if it ends up being that easy, that I just proc that. And then he's just basically done for. And all I have to do is survive until... Um... Until it's time to for phase two with the Elden Beast, like... That would be amazing. Ooh. Bro. Okay. That was rude. Alright, so Rotten Breath did not manage to proc it. I suppose in that case, if I'm trying to proc, I should probably be using 
the Dragon Community Seal. And you know what? Screw it. I'll upgrade to XX Decay. And if that doesn't work ultimately, then I'll just switch back to trying out Scarlet fucking Aeonia. Because that absolutely procked it on him. Which was kind of surprising, to be perfectly honest. Hi, Haru. Uh, what's currently up is that I'm bad at the game. Yeah, like that. <laughs> well, I'm technically on seamless co-op, so... I appreciate the offer. Because I was originally playing this with other people, but now I'm kind of by myself. Hi, hon. I mean, I'm not going to say no to offer of help, especially not from you. As I just really want to get this done today, that way I can be done and move, and move on to other things next week. <laughs> Because I can, I can do okay damage, I just can't keep him off of me with anybody. That's the problem. If I could keep him away from me, which always seems to be my problem, <laughs> I'd have to, you'd have to close Blender, that's fair. Is, is it still... Is it still doing the thing? Oh my god. Wait, I can have both? I didn't know I could have both. Usually they don't let you have both. Yeah, no, like, I'd appreciate help from pretty much anybody, because I literally just need somebody to keep his aggro away from me while I hit him with stuff. Because I can... I can do plenty of damage. I just refuse to invest in HP, so taking damage is just not really an option for me. And when he's like just hyper aggressive and just constantly attacking me, like I can't. I can't do anything. Does Ghost Fame actually count as fire? I know it's technically... Is it just magic? This is the fires of Ghost Flame. But Ghost Flame usually does frost, right? Or is it just pure magic? Is it just pure magic damage? I actually need to look this up now. Okay, magic damage. Yeah, 
You know, I haven't really tried flame sorceries that much. Let's see. It's a pretty long channel, but it doesn't last forever. Roiling Mag might have to rely on him actually being an explosion. It's just too big, that's all I'm gonna say. Fair enough. You, you, you got it working? You, you whipped Blender into shape? Oh, Unity crashed. Oh. Man, Rikard's Rancor is absolutely wacky. Maybe it'll do to you some damage. Might as well give it a try. I don't think I'm going to be getting past uh, Radig on this round, but... Again, I'm going to give it a try. sure that she's got his attention. Rikard's Rancor, what you got for me? Well, you didn't do any damage and you made him mad at me. Thank you, Tish. Alright, Roiling Magma. How about this? Well, he didn't stay in the AoE, so... I saw that, you cheeky bastard. And if I can hit him with it... Well... Rolling Magma is probably out of the question. Well, it, I'm sure it does okay damage. He is just way too quick for it to actually land. I'm sure if it lands, it would do fantastic damage. But it don't want to land. Right Herd's Ranker, also kind of the same deal. Travels a little slow for this fight. Let's try Magma Shot instead. Because I know if I directly land Magma Shot, it still does its fire damage. Screw it, I like meteors. I know this is a bad idea. I'm very aware that this is a bad idea. I know 100% that this is a bad idea and is not going to work. Like, even slightly. That's not going to stop me from doing it. Because I like meteors.
Curse her looking at me after I cast a fucking spell. Why did that go surprisingly better than I actually expected? Like, for real, though. Kind of makes me wonder. Uh, no, I am very far away from anything resembling my Terra Magica. Dude. Again, why is that, like, surprisingly effective? Hell, Tish almost actually killed him. I literally just need him to stay off of me. I do still need to try out Gelmir's or not Gelmir's Fury. Well, maybe Gelmir's Fury. Probably not Gelmir's Fury, though. He'll probably absolutely kill me with Gelmir's Fury. What are these other spells, though, like Magma Shot? Okay. Somehow didn't dodge through at that time. What started draining his health so damn fast? That could not have been Tish. I've never seen Tish drain his health that quick. That couldn't have been it. Hey, why are you looking at me? Forgot to equip a healing spell. Magma shot. Magma shot. I'm dead. Somehow I'm not. Somehow he missed. I'm dead. If you can't beat him within the next 30 minutes or so, I'll be able to help. Uh, I know I'm not going to be able to beat him in the next 30 minutes, but I'm definitely going to try.
Because again, I'm not leaving it on this note because there's not enough content to warrant a full stream and I don't want to do this again on Monday. I like this game. I really do. But considering where I'm at, this this is the sink or swim. This is the this is the last Elden Ring stream for me for a while. Again, not mad at the game, but I've been wanting to be done so I can move on to other content. Dude, you didn't even get hit by the spell. Why are you mad? Bro. Why are you so mad? See, now I would understand being mad. Again, why are you mad? I don't understand this man. I really don't. doesn't get hit by spell it's mad at the caster anyways like the only person who should be mad in that scenario is me I just want to see what kind of damage I do with this one I can I can do no damage that's fine 1140. Tish dodging around in front of him isn't going to make him mad. Not at you. He is way too far away for that.
I didn't even see my damage numbers. Oh. I didn't dodge that good. on the call. Alright. One sec. Doopy doop. Ba doop. Hold on, did that not? I can't hear you. Oh, I've got to up your volume quite a bit. Say again? I had to switch my microphone over so, so on my headset. Ah. Uh... Oh, you're already starting to turn up. Cool. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and open up the world. Try this again. I do good damage. I just can't keep him away from me. If I could keep him away from me, there wouldn't be an issue. And the, the, like, the dumb thing is, like, everyone's like, oh, just use Mimic Tear with the, the Shabriri's Woe. Like, I can't use the Mimic Tear. I don't have the HP investment. Because the cost of the damn thing is 660 HP. I couldn't use the Mimic Tear if I wanted to. Pretty sure you have a you'll have a decent time of dealing with him though, considering all he does is holy damage. Use a fucking hammer. Hell, considering he uses range spells, you could probably use the Earth Tree Great Shield against him. I can't, though, because the damn thing requires 30 strength. Also, in the in this fight, apparently, because he's weak, he is apparently very weak to fire. Catch flame, OP. I just can't stay in front of him long enough to spam him to death with catch flame, because I die. <laughs> good, good to know. All right, all right, joining you now. Because I did a pretty clean kill on him the first time I started using catch flame on him, but I can't stay close enough to him after that to to actually do it again. So I'm probably going to rely on uh, Black Fireball. And you know what? Because this way I can at least do something useful. Besides throwing Black Fireball from range. When we get up to that gate, I am going to cast Golden Vow. And then after that, it's just a matter of surviving... Uh... Oh, right. Surviving the Elden Beast, which is... Oh... Almost forgot. I really want to try out Eternal Darkness for that fight. Yeah, I'm going to cast before we go in. 
since I won't have a lot of time to cast once we start. I'm gonna get right up in here. Just Golden Vow, because I don't have whatever spell I'm supposed to have for... Oh, it just brings me into the room anyways, that's cool. Why? No. No. Need to get away. Well, I forgot my healing spell because I'm an idiot. But uh, here we go against the Elden Beast. Just gonna recast this buff real quick. And run the hell away. That's a good thing that sword when unbuffed only does physical damage. Wishing I had remembered to equip a fucking healing spell. Uh, T shaped or mimic to over there, apparently. Uh, okay, this one I need to unlock and just run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, he wasn't even using using that on us. Okay. Oh, come here. I was going to recast Black, uh, or Golden Vow on you. Eternal Darkness. Okay. Well, he didn't aim that at me at all, so that didn't pan out at all at all in anyone's favor. Ah! Balls. Yeah, considering I had just consumed my Wonders Physic because I was going to Meteorite of Estelle on him. Because I figured he's big enough. better than the uh, last time, last couple of times I got to him. Uh, healing spell. Uh, 
is waiting for my game to run. Spell. It's not a good heal. It's not technically even a great heal. But healing nonetheless. Again, I'm gonna cast Golden Vow once we get up to the gate. Okay, I don't know why me spawning behind you causes us to both start sliding backwards. That was kind of funny, though. Holding on to your mimic tear for now? That's not what I wanted. That's also not what I wanted. <laughs> I was say, I think as much as you like your uh, ringed shield, I think the Erd Tree Great Shield might be a better choice because of its high holy damage. Technically, same with the Elden Beast. Ow. I mean, only if you feel like it. That's just one cat's opinion. Yeah, so you can see why I have a problem with him if he's this aggressive, and I have no HP to speak of. From what I understand, Radigan's primary weakness is fire, so if you got any fire... <laughs> I have noticed that Steve doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't. I think he's actually immune. Like I said, fire is a pretty good option. Fire could even be a great option if I could fucking land anything. You know what? Screw it. Flame fall upon them. I'm I'm going with that. Flaming shotgun, basically. Covers a wide area. Might not do as much damage per hit. But it'll do something, and I can stay at range, and I'll have a good coverage. So I'm far more likely to hit him with something. So what, what'd, you, what'd you do there? I put flame on it. Ah. Uh, 
I don't know how well that's gonna work, but uh... probably decently. Uh, what's your poise currently at, by the way? Four forty. <laughs> I think the people said that the best number to be at for tanking attacks and not getting interrupted is like 53. But I don't know if you have anything that can push you. I, I, I do have I do have some stuff that I could wear, but it's like uh, it's ugly. I mean that's fair. Ribbon. Yeah, there. Now I have 73. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> and you didn't have to go, like... Well, then again... I, where, I'm just trying to figure out where the... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, well. I guess no buff! No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cast this in the game. Or not. Thank you, start menu. I'll just come over here and, uh... Ow. You're rude. Pretty... Eh? <laughs> I didn't get to do anything! I was gonna say, because I think fire also scales with strength, so it would potentially benefit from your scaling as well, but I don't know. This time, I promise I won't forget to cast Golden Vow before we go in, and then I'm gonna use Flame Fall upon them to I, shotgun him with fire. Ow, I have fire once. What's your uh? What Flame Ashes of War do you have? That's okay, I'm out of rune arcs. Uh, if they're in range of your healing spell, technically, yes. That's why I try to cast, uh, regen spells on them sometimes. Well, uh, good luck. Oh, hi, I died. <laughs> oh, 
Your mimic tears is like on the other side of the arena somewhere. There they are. Well, they're dead. Dude, I've never seen him just open with that attack. That is some bullshit. That's not a lot of damage. I know, not probably because my hammer's not fully up there. Any hitting is less than I I like your shield a lot. I know. It protec. It protec very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, I think this problem. is over. I was gonna say, uh, that did a lot less damage than I expected it to do to you. Uh, he's not. Oh hell, you've made it this far? I have! I'm... We're trying... I'm trying to end it. I want this to be over so that I can start the next game that I intended to stream next week. Start on Spiral Reignited Trilogy. I have been at this for a while. <laughs> I have the damage. I just lack survivability. Cat's been helping me with the survivability aspect, but I I goofed, and I died like instantly in Radigan's arena. Yeah, it was kind of. Pretty consistent mainstay of literally everybody's build for quite a reason. I know, but I refuse. Because <laughs> the thing is, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, the none of my, uh, none of my spirit summons seem to be capable of keeping aggro for more than like five <laughs> seconds, I can do this. I do. I use the build that works for me, which is high damage, and then I let... I usually would have a summon take the aggro, and then oh I just do the damage while they hold the aggro. Like, even if they die by the end, it's usually enough for me to win. But the problem I've been having is they don't hold aggro for more than, like, five seconds, and then the boss is just on me. Even if I haven't cast anything... The boss just turns on me just suddenly and just won't piss off. Okay. okay. I'm going to adjust my hammer. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a. Actually, yeah, I'm a that is, okay, I was using the wrong one. I should actually be doing significantly more fucking damage. Oh. <laughs> oh, what are the flame ashes of war you said you had? Um. That you can put on the hammer. I, 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 I wasn't actually putting an ash, the, the flame ash of war on it. Uh, uh, but I, I, I use stamp sweep, sweep you know, because I like that. Good, good, mm -hmm. good ability. And uh, I have the choice between fire and flame art. Flame art is horrible. Fire, fire good. Uh, under my affinity thing, I don't know. Because the, the 
two flame ones that I see that apply, can apply to ha great hammers are uh, flaming strike and eruption. The thing is, is, I don't have either. I don't have any flame arts. And me asking to see what your stats look like? Sure. Uh, my stats currently look like this. Very much not ideal, <laughs> I know. But I, I'm a caster. I, I can't help it. Do I have Rikard's Rancor? I do. I tried using it in the fight, but it kind of just immediately tanks into the floor and then it doesn't follow um, Radagon enough to do any meaningful damage, which is kind of sad. I feel like if it could hit him, it would do decent. It just doesn't want to. <laughs> it just like goes like five feet and then just <laughs> lore. <laughs> Might be better on Elden Beast. Maybe, if he holds still long enough. Let's see, can I drop ashes before? Technically, yes. Yeah. I'm trying to find something, something to increase my poise a little bit more. It's also good to get but I don't know. I haven't had the chance to try, admittedly, but it does seem like it has a trigger. Or has a bigger <laughs> attack against larger targets. Mm -hmm. but here you go. Uh, if, if it's on the <laughs> floor for you. I mean, I'll see if it makes it better. I'll see how it like, I don't know. And I just like my, my... I may I may be wrong, but I think Flame Strike also allows you to buff the weapon with fire. I could be thinking of a different Ash. Except, except for the fact that I can't put it on the hammer. And also a high faith build can easily support it. Yeah. I can't put it on the hammer. Wait. You should be able to. I could put it on Great Hammers. It won't, let, it won't let me. Is it because of the type of hammer? Maybe. It's, a, it's literally just a colossal weapon, so... Oh, maybe that's it. Let me find a colossal weapon and see what I got. I don't even... Where the hell did it go? Is that the Prince of Death Staff you're using? Uh, no, unfortunately, because I think the spell buff I'm getting out of, for some reason, out of my, uh... Lusat's staff is still technically higher. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I have, no, I have flaming, flaming strike, strike already. already. Here. Yeah, yeah I see. just I, I I can't put it on hammer. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, eruption. I I have I have eruption for you. Uh that's like the only flame out. ash of war that I can apply. I have been making use of being able to dodge like forty percent of their attacks. <laughs> so that staff spell buff is largely considered universally best. Yeah. Yeah, because like I've been I've been using that to get like the most damage out of most things, but like. I know potentially the Prince of Death staff could be better. Let me check though, because I only recently got it to 25. 320, 364. Oh no, it's still 20, still 23. That's weird. It's also pretty high, but I see the sheer fucking size of that FP bar. <laughs> right. All right. Me wishing I wasn't out of. I'm gonna give Rikard's Rancor another try. Oh, I can't because it costs two. There you go. Eh, you know what? I can. I quit. Anyway. You know what? Because I'm insane. There we go. <laughs> Grab. 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 Grab what? Grab what? We can't drop rune arcs for each other. Remember, we tried this before. Oh my God. I know it's you annoying. Don't kill rats. Don't forget, I need to cast Golden Val on you before we go in. Well, don't forget to to, to, uh, to do that instead of. Yeah, I know. I. <laughs> Boom! Golden Val. I'm gonna go murder some. 
and yes, because I'm absolutely insane, I am going to be trying to use Scarlet. <laughs> Tish, why are you looking at me? Well, on the plus side, he has Scarlet Rot now. Oh no. No 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 I'm just gonna that's not the spell I wanted. Cool, topped off my HP. I wonder if I can hit the infect the The Elden Beast with Scarlet Aonia, that'd be hilarious. I'm gonna try. Please don't kill me. I said please. He didn't listen. Considering <laughs> not seems to affect mind and soul as well as body. Yeah, I think it maybe if I had gotten a second one off, because he killed me like in the middle of the first one. Either way, it also did a fairly healthy chunk of damage to him right away. Did you uh, ever summon your mimic tier? I did. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Yeah. No. No. Not allowed to kill me. That one were this close. Be Me trying to look around for a mimic tier. I'm guessing he died. No, still alive. Where the frig are they? I literally don't see him. Your mimic tier just isn't on my screen. They're, they're right, right here, but they're, they're, like, they're like doing a shuffle. A shuffle. <laughs> Alright, really <laughs> I'm sorry. You can change it back now that I know that I can hit him with Scarlet Aonia and then just throw fire at him. And the next time I go to try and use Scarlet Aonia on the Elden Beast, I'm gonna do it from the side, not the front. Yeah, I'm guessing your Mimic tier is, like, broken for some reason. Because, yeah, again, he's not visible on my screen. Okay. 
Which I looked it up. No, I can't apply Scarlet Rod. He's actually immune to every status effect. Oh, oh, that's annoying. So the only way to beat him is raw damage. Which I have raw damage. I just need to use the. I just need to use better spells for it. Works on Renegon a treat though. I really wish my mimic tier was broken. Yeah. I don't even understand why it broke. Can you, like, kind of a cosmic a being closer, made of purity. Yeah. Come on, Oh, uh, now you fight my mimic tier. Maybe that I saw work. him hit the mimic tier. I saw the HP bar show up, but I didn't see the mimic tier come into existence. See that that spell is exactly why I I brought Eternal Darkness with me because I feel like if he tries to use that on me, Eternal Darkness should catch like the entirety of that spell. I don't know if Eternal Darkness works on sword beams actually. I don't feel like I should test it out, but I'm really tempted to test it out. Well, you did get one more hit in. Unfortunately, does not if all the information I've looked up is correct. Damn. Ah, uh, that would be funny, though. Just any time the Elden Beast goes to throw something ranged at me, just... Boop! <laughs> <laughs> Barrier will deflect those homing star attacks, though. Well, yes, and I've actually watched somebody use it. And the problem is, um, there is a delay during its cast, and uh, some stars can actually get through. Oh, I don't remember if the upward cut actually knocks him on his ass. I think it does. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it might. I, I could have sworn that I'd seen it do it to him before, but I don't know. We'll see. It's too bad I don't think I'd be able to do that with Noble Presence. Otherwise, that would be a fun one to stack on it. Just upward sweep, noble presence, upward sweep, noble presence. Wait, eh, no! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah. I don't think I got it off. That jump attack was nice. nice. Ooh. How did I live? I don't know, but you might want to hit. That's why I'm running away! Radigan, please! That's not good. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I know it does not work, but it made me dodge with that attack. So the whole time. 
Radigan, 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 Radigan. Let's calm down. Right again. Uh. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Damn it. Tish, where are you at? Where, where are he going? <laughs> oh, um, 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 Hi. You don't mind if I just throw Eternal Darkness around here, do you? Well, Tisha's dead. Unlike oh, health, since I just summoned my mimic here, they've been avoiding me. My... Thank you, Black Fireball. Summon Ronnie. Come on. Touch the frag. 500,000 for that. Come on, game. You could have you could have given me like 750k. What is this option? Rest of the side of grace. I'm going to do that. But you get your best drip going. I I I feel I'm feeling fancy. There we go. Uh, this this is good for me. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lead back on my hair again. <laughs> Victory, my name is Apollo. And, and you know, you of course. I literally could not have done this without you. Like, again, like I said, my damage was fine. I just literally have no idea why they won't, like, why the bosses won't pay attention to my summons for more than, like, maybe five seconds. And that's, like, the entire, like, crutch of my high damage strategy is I need them to not look at me. 
So when they're spending their entire time looking at me, I don't get to attack. And if I don't get to attack, I don't get to do my damage. And of course, we're going to summon Rocky. This means having a more aggressive summons. Tisha's good, though. Tisha's usually pretty good. Um, her aggressiveness has managed to keep people off me longer than the others. But, like, I tried using a tanky one like Rolo at one point, and Rolo, I think they nerfed him because he takes so much damage. I don't know either. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's a problem with, um, Seamless Co-op, specifically. Because I haven't had that issue in Vanilla. Lutel the Headless? I haven't tried Lutel. I should. Maybe that would have worked out better. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars, a thousand year voyage into the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. That is a cool fucking moon. I want to go to that moon. I want that to be a DLC. <laughs> Age of the Stars. Wait. I'm s I'm still here. Am I allowed to do this again? No, it's probably just because I Well Because cool fuck, yeah. Uh So I'll I'll tell you what, like all of the uh all the audio has cut out from the game. Could not begin to tell you why. I assume the credits are supposed to be playing. Well, I have menu audio. It's only one major area environment that is missing from the game. An underwater area of some sort. That would be cool if, like, we had the ability to swim. Like, that would be awesome. Or even if, like, it w we were inside, like, domes or something, or something that was protected from the water. And there's just, like, water above us and all around. Like, an underwater city type deal. Like, that would be dope. Well, I can't summon Ronnie again. Hold on. Mend the Elden Ring. Use Mending Rune of the Death Prince. Hmm. Multiple endings? Multiple endings, maybe? Some kind of submerged kind of would be cool as hell. Yeah. I, 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 
the mending rune of the death prince. I don't know. Two endings in one attempt because buggy shit. <laughs> I'll take it. I think Age of the Stars might still be my, my favorite, though. Though I guess it depends on what I find out from the uh, Mending Death Rune. Swear to God, though, I'll tell a story. Yeah, we've been here. This this is the intro to the game. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. See that part's different. The Duskborn, you say? <laughs> um, um, uh, uh. <laughs> I guess you really didn't want me to have another ending, did you, James? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think that's a good place to leave it off. Fucking, <laughs> 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 well, I should have just warped where I was standing. Oh well, it's fine. Sure, that's a seamless co-op glitch, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Where did it even put my shit? Did it even put my shit? Nope. Those are just gone. 500,000 runes down the toilet. Damn. Oh well. But, as I wanted... We have finally completed the game. Next week, starting up Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now I need to see if I can find anybody to raid. At God knows what hour in the morning. It took me way longer than I would have liked, but like it <laughs> is done. And of course, if anyone has any suggestions for tar raid targets, I will take those as well, because I don't really. I am not seeing anybody from my raid lists. I'm not wearing hockey pants. <laughs> Anybody play an Elden Ring? Barcode is currently streaming. Oh, let's see. Is it a uh, barcode Synthex? Just to make just to make sure I've got the right guy. Yep. 
she good people? Sounds good to me. Looks like they are playing something called Champions Online. All right. But, as per always, thank you everyone so very, very, very much for joining me today. I hope to see you all again next week for the start of Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and I will see you all next time. Ciao!